some bullshittery has been going on as of late, and we're here to talk about the bullshit that's been going on. Uh, with me, I have uh, my producer for this uh, hangout, which is 82 Productions. How's it going? It's going all right. I kind of had a feeling after the stream this morning. Oh, let's have some fun pushing the fecal matter in. Yep. And with that, we also have, uh, you know, speaking of fecal matter. Hey, Sean Hufford, how's it going? Hey, Voidpacker, how you doing? Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. And we have Geo from Not America. How's it going, Geo? Hey, I'm actually quite pissed about this entire thing. Yes, perfect. We we like it when when Germans are pissed. Well, at, well it, it, at, you nah, hmm. <laughs> I said that. Anyway, careful with that, that one, Red. Yeah, now that we're here, though, let's go ahead and get into the uh, steak and potatoes of this meal. That is the bullshit that's been happening on Slice of Arcane's channel. So, unless you've been living underneath a rock, there has been this uh, bullshit going on with FE Core. Because apparently, uh, they are butthurt, and their, their only retaliation to uh, Sly Spartanes, you know, how, how do I say, complete debunking of their nonsense is to try and force silence um, because they're doing false copyright and privacy complaints. Even though if you go to the About Us page on Epicor's own website, you see their names and pictures, which well, was screen shared by Slice Arcane. Mike, a screen share Mike, of their own fucking website. Mike Cavanaugh of the president of FE Corps apparently thinks that the web page is only public to those he wants it to be public to. Does he not understand what the definition of public is? No, no he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. No. Uh, so what what's what's been going on is that uh, I think Slice Burkina has already been hit with a copyright strike. Yes. Yes, he has. And and there's apparently like what is it six uh, pending uh, review uh, going on in review in regards to privacy no. complaints. Privacy complaints. The the privacy complaints were were seven complaints against a single video, which was the one where he actually exposed FE Core for the frauds that they are. Hmm. So Effie Corps' response was to hit him with not a lawsuit for defamation or slander or libel, but with privacy complaints to silence him. Yes, silencing, because that's how that's how you win an argument by making it impossible for them to respond by trying to get their entire fucking channel deleted off of YouTube. I mean, it's the flat earth way. I yeah, mean, so it is officially not. FE cowards at this point. Yeah, sorry now, I was late. I needed to make another drink. I'm not drunk enough for this. So uh, let me let me go ahead and make sure it's it's all of Fe Core. So this would include Jaronism, and this would also in include Bob from Globusters, right? Yes, there was seven individual complaints from um, that were placed up for privacy on Sly's video, exposing them for the for the frauds that they are. And you can only submit a privacy complaint once per account. So well, they had seven accounts. Fly one video for privacy, and there happens to be seven members of the board. And Mike actually posted in his email to Sly, he was demanding that all members of FE Core hit that video with a privacy complaint. Sure enough, he gets seven complaints. How Seven's convenient! Name. Something, something targeted harassment. Something, something. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, isn't YouTube kind of, <laughs> you know? not tolerating this bullshit anymore supposedly so much so that they actually uh filed suit against a guy called vengeful flame for doing the exact same shit yes this was yes, something they, that was posted. yes they did well yeah this was something that was posted in the comment section by astronomy live in the comment section of slice Parking's video so they were like oh yep. oh this seems vaguely this seems they said this seems familiar, you know? Where have I seen this shit before? Turns out a user, not in the Flat Earth community, but in the Minecraft uh, channels community, actually tried to do the exact same thing by abusing YouTube's system. So YouTube that's, responded by filing suit against this guy. Yeah, that's YouTube not 100% correct, not, though. There, there's a slight difference here. Yeah, the, the, guy was, the guy was holding his channel blackmail or possibly. Yeah, but basically, basically yeah. he wanted money from the targeted channel to stop what he was doing. 
Yeah, but but here's the thing: whether it's money or silence, they're 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 trying to get something out of it. So Slice Arcane has videos on his channel that show Effie Core to be the pig fuckers that they actually are. That's an insult uh, to pig fuckers. Mm, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, cloth fuckers. Does that work? Is that better? No. Slug fuckers. You're not, okay, you're, you're not helping, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's try this. Okay, so Slice Barkane has videos on his channel showing Epicor to be the slug fuckers that they are. Epicor doesn't like that. So Epicor wants those channels removed. Or not not those channels, those videos removed. And now what they're going to do is going to be like, oh, we want, the, we want this gone because it shows our bullshit for what it actually is, complete and total bullshit. Quick, everyone, start throwing privacy complaints and copyright strikes at this guy. You know, it, uh, hopefully three of them will stick, so it's three strikes and you're out. That's where I'm, I'm really right kind of hoping that, provided that enough people here retweet, and god damn it, I do not need to draw Effie Core fucking pig. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> um, if, if if we get enough people retweeting and pushing this out to YouTube, so that way it pushes past the bot, so an actual person looks at this. What I'm thinking that what might end up happening because YouTube is already going hard on conspiracies and like shit that's damaging to people, um, like anti-vaxxers and flat Earth and all that shit. I'm hoping that they'll go like really hard on them and essentially not only just look into their individual channels, but also look into their group as a whole and basically they'll be blacklisted. They'll well, be blacklisted not right. to the point that they won't be able to make videos, they'll just be blacklisted to the point that they'll never be able to strike anybody again. Well, the thing exactly. is, if, if no. we can get YouTube to get eyes on this situation, um, not only are they risking actual lawsuit from YouTube, not be, you know, the, the blackmailing thing was icing on the cake. That's actually what got YouTube's attention. They actually are suing this dude for false flagging, period. They're not suing yeah. him because of the blackmail, they're suing him for the false flagging. The abuse of their system in the end, whether it's extortion, whether it's trying to silence your opposition, abuse of their system is abuse of their system, point blank. So because there is clear abuse going on here, I decided to make a few tweets. And I'm asking everyone right here, right now, everyone who is a member of Team Cunt to go to my Twitter and tweet the living shit out of Team YouTube, out of YouTube themselves. Uh, YouTube creators, whatever handle YouTube is currently looking at, make sure that the first thing that they see is this. Because what we have here is Epicor abusing the shit out of their system to silence uh, people who they do not like. For no other reason other than they said something that basically showed them to be, uh, be shit eaters. Uh, Sheena, we've actually uh, talked to Uni. He was in the last... So he's aware. Yes, Unirock has been informed, and uh, we'll be. Uh, also, I'm I'm thinking Unirock may do a show on this later. If sh if if that is the case, I'm gonna uh, tweet that out so you guys can follow it. I also have the links to show that YouTube did sue someone uh, who went by the username Ventral Flame to show that they are not fucking around, as well as the uh, links to Counter DMCA. Um, where you don't actually have to give out your name to get the counter submitted. Uh, the Reds' Twitter is there, so it'll be like the top three or four tweets that have gone out will have all of the information. Yes, correct. And uh, Sean Hufford, a uh, quick question about, about this. So what has uh, Sly Sparking done in response to this? Um, so far, Sly has um, filed the counterclaim for the one copyright strike that they tried to give him. Um, he has also contacted his lawyer, who is actually contacting other lawyers because um, social media is not his specialty. So his lawyer is actually contacting other lawyers to see what can be done about this. And it's going to go from there. We clearly just need to get in contact with Kyle's lawyer. <laughs> yes. Oh, we need to get Kyle's lawyer here. Or she. I don't know. I'm not going to assume. Yes, I think I think what what we need what we need to do here is just spam the living shit out of Team YouTube on Twitter or YouTube or creators whatever. anything with the YouTube uh, at with the little check mark. If any of you are within spitting distance of their office, if you can like pay them a visit and go, hey, uh, Tinkerbell, let's chit chat. There's some bullshit going on in your site right now. There's a bunch of flurfs that got butt hurt on the internet, and now they're abusing your system as a result. 
I mean, that's where we're at right now. We, we, we just have to make it so that their eyes are on this now. Yeah, we have to over yeah. overwhelm the bot and flood the bot to the point that the bot can't handle it. So a person has to look. Yes. Now, question. Did uh, did uh, a Slice of Arcane get a response from YouTube? And wasn't it like an automated response? It was an auto. It was an autom Here, here's the thing about um, doing counterclaims and trying to get replies from YouTube. If you're under a certain subscriber threshold, you are automatically regulated to the automation system. You don't get the chance to talk to an actual living person. You get automated canned responses. So Sly is under that threshold. And FE Core, the frauds that they are, is taking advantage of that. So hmm. that's why, you know, Geo asked earlier if, if anybody talked to you. I, I was actually talking to you on the phone when that came through. Um, because you do have a subscriber base that is above that threshold. Um, to where you actually get manual reviews on things. Well, yeah, that's why they went after who they did. They're not going to just, you can't just immediately go after the big dog. They have to test the waters first. If this works, if they succeed, then they'll start going after larger and larger and larger. So basically, as of right now, um, if, but look at this, if YouTube actually does get their eyes on this, then Effie Core is in for a lot of shit, are they not? Well, basically, uh, if I understand bit, yeah. this correctly, they are in for the same shit that Venom Fang X suffered about a decade ago. <laughs> I wonder. I, I wonder if Sly would be so forgiving as to just give him the option of uh, making a groveling apology. I say oh, no. no. Fuck him. <laughs> no. Yeah, because we remember how that shit show turned out. At least um, they suddenly wouldn't. They would have to suffer. No, I think at this point they definitely deserve the full brunt of the massive dick of the law because fuck all their channels. And also, aren't they still on the hook for the fraudulent claim about being a 501c3 organization? Yes, yes they are. Hmm. Yeah, uh, wait, aren't they also in some shit for PayPal too? That would be Jaren. Jaren yes, is a uh, banned from PayPal. Yeah, Jaren is banned from PayPal, and he is now currently using Bob's PayPal account, which, guess what there, buddy? Your friend just fucked you. Yeah, I've already yeah. reported that. Yeah, that's, that, that's against, uh, that's uh, circumventing uh, PayPal. You can't yeah. do that. And, uh, oh, for those of you who are wondering, if you go to, uh, I just did this. If you go to Twitter, I pinned a tweet that you can retweet out there. Right now, we're sitting at 33 retweets and 33 hearts. If we can also get 33 comments under that, that would be great, just so that we could have the trifecta. Uh, but the tweet is, a uh, YouTuber at Slice of Arcane is being targeted with false YouTube privacy, copyright complaints by Epicore. Users like Jaronism, a member of Epicore, are now trying to silence live for criticizing them. Spam this to at Team YouTube. Their system is being abused. And to the two assholes that retweeted it out to make it not 33, thank you so much. You're still dicks, but thank you. I appreciate it. You're assholes, but hey, thank Sean, you. Sean, somebody's asking how Jaronism got banned from PayPal. Um, no official reason has been given, but apparently there was some shady dealings done on his PayPal. So they locked it for 180 days while investigations happened. And during that investigation, they outright deleted his account. It no longer exists. Good. So they found something fraudulent on his PayPal and banned him for it. No, don't start. Don't stop at sixty-nine re retweets. If you're going to stop anywhere, it needs to be at six hundred and sixty-six. Yes. Not four twenty. <laughs> No, nah, six six six. Uh, yeah, they or nine 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 six six six. If it goes over six six six, then we have to get to nine nine nine. Yeah, stopping at four twenty, they don't deserve that. It, they are not worthy of such a glorious number. <laughs> no, that's fair, yeah. So, um, uh, negative so exponent says it was for um, exchanging PayPal for Bitcoin. I don't know the rules on that. I don't know if that's what he did, but Jaron does have a history of Bitcoin that's rather shady, yeah. so it's possible. <laughs> What is it with Jaronism and Bitcoin? My God. It's easy to, it's easy to scam people. So, yeah, he's a little fuck yeah. who's a scam artist. Red, he cannot quite 
possibly is incapable of making an honest living. So True. why so why wouldn't he be involved with Bitcoin? But uh Bunt makes a really good point. Why stop at that? Sixty nine sixty nine is better. Six thousand yeah. nine hundred and sixty nine? Hell yeah. Do it. So what I would like people to do, um, and this this is actually one of those uh, times where we're going to go ahead and flex the dick of Team Cunt. Yeah, try to make that one work in your head. Um, we're going to flex the dick of Team Cunt, and we're going to just spam the ever-living shit out of Team YouTube, guys. So if you all can do me that favor, that would be great. Yeah, um, like, share this video. Get it out to YouTube. Get it out there, because this this is abuse. Epi Core and its members are abusing YouTube. They're abusing the YouTube system, whether it be copyright, whether it be the privacy complaints, because the privacy, that, that, the privacy Actually, complaints is what gets me, because you could literally go to their webpage. I'm on it right now. Go to FE Core, type it into Google, click about us, and scroll to the bottom. What do you fucking see? Uh, Speedmount actually makes a good point about Jaren's PayPal, um, because he had all of his links from his, like, his bookstore, his online bookstore, um, going to his personal, PayPal account and there are business accounts and there are personal accounts and they're handled differently. So if he was actually mm -hmm. using his personal account as a business, yeah, that would actually violate the firm of service. It could have been as simple as that. Yep. You know, there's, there, there's many, like, like, uh, uh, Jared just said, Jaredism does not know how to make an honest living. He needs to do whatever back alley bullshit in order to put food on the table. Okay. That's, that's just fact. But I'm not going to play ball with that. And I'm also not going to play ball when you decide to uh, fraudulently copyright strike uh, one of my friends or throw false privacy Ooh. complaints. Oh, hold at on a second. Friend. Fuck you. I, I, see, I see somebody in chat that I have to give a huge thank you to. Brainery. Right. Uh, massive thank you. That, that actually helped out a shit ton for our goal. So, hey. that, who was it? Brainery. Was it? Brainery. Brainery. Yeah, he, uh, he the one, the one he, with the red logo. Yes, yeah. he did a massive, massive donation that was really, really helpful. Okay, uh, sir, you have earned yourself a wrench. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, also, by the way, for anybody who is following and is looking to help out, Sean, um, my photos are already taken. The photo shoot's done. So as soon as you, uh, as soon as you reach the goal, it's already ready to go. There's, a, a, yeah, it was, um, you know, I'm just going to shut up right now and just continue on the story. <laughs> but no, uh, let me Pictures just, have been forwarded. It, to oh, I'm just curious. So which color bikini did we pick for red? <laughs> red? I'm telling you, yeah, it's, no, the, it's the poor red one. Um, it was, uh, by the way, for... To the answer to that question, it was a red and black bikini. and Because for, everything is on brand with him. Fuck yeah. And for the second one, let me read something from uh, this website here, which again is linked on my Twitter, and I'll also post it in the live chat momentarily. From YouTube. We regularly terminate accounts of those that misuse our copyright system. In this case, uh, if in this case of particularly egregious abuse where the copyright removal process was used for extortion we felt compelled to pursue to pursue further legal action and make it clear that we do not tolerate abuse of our platform and or its users so that's that oh now, my god wait, hold on does that, does that mean that we can essentially in one foul swoop remove all of fe core including jaronism and um mike or what's, what's the guy's name from Brothers? It'll be oh. the FE Court. The channel will be affected. Will be the FE Court channel, the Jaronism channel, the Globusters channel, the Karen B channel, the um, Doctor Zach channel. Um, I know Rick Hummer's got a channel. But I can't remember what its name is. And they could, um, Sandor has a channel, but I don't know its name. So they could all essentially get removed in one foul swoop if Team yes. Cunt pushes hard enough yes. for it. For for two yes. reasons: one, for falsely flagging for privacy against a publicly available page. Mm -hmm. um, and two, because it was a mass flagging campaign by Mike Cavanaugh that they all complied with. Yes, exactly. This wasn't some backdoor alley bullshit. Um, this was their page, their About Us uh, page. So keep in mind, we regularly terminate accounts of those that misuse our copyright system. 
uh, because of the egregious abuse where cover remove process was used for extortion. We felt compelled um, to do further, but keep this in mind, guys. Keep this in mind. That was the reason they felt compelled to go for it, but they were actually going after this guy for just the abuse of their platform. Because FD Core is doing just that, abusing their platform, they are now at risk of YouTube hammer. The only thing we need to do is make YouTube aware that, hey, there's a nail that's sticking out. You should probably slam that shit down as hard as you fucking can. And if it gets slammed hard enough, here. it'll be on legitimate news. Like that, that will like the Washington Post or whatever will pick that shit up. Yes, and also Flat Earther for, got bitch slapped so hard off the internet. And also for fifty dollars Australian, thank you, Aussie Globehead. NASA approves of all team cunt activities. Thank you very much, Aussie Globehead. Fifty dollars, you are the fucking man. As well as everyone else who super chats. Thank you so much. Um, now to make sure that YouTube gets you know made aware that this thing is a thing, we all just need to constantly spam Team YouTube. Now, of course, Slice Spark Kane is going to have to be on game on that because I would very much like uh, uh, Slice Spark Kane to be active on Twitter because Team YouTube will make will be made aware of something, but Slice Spark Kane on Twitter is going to have to directly reply with, what do I do next? Because we cannot do this for him. He has to do it himself. So I'll make sure to be in contact with uh, Slice Spark Kane. I'll be taking a look at this. If any of you guys... Uh, see that Team YouTube or just YouTube in general has replied, let me know uh, at me so that I could tell Slice Bar Team immediately and then he can go ahead and, you know, act on it. He can, you know, put some action to it. And then we can go ahead and get his channel back in working standing and tell Epi Core to officially go fuck themselves. Potentially kicking them the hell off the platform by their own hand. Good. Fuck them. Well, that's one possibility. The other possibility is that everybody who is involved in the mass flagging actually has their flagging rights revoked by that's, YouTube. That would be what I would expect. I don't think they'd get completely removed, but they might just because of YouTube's recent crackdown on conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah, they're getting the ringer. There, there's no doubt. So, yeah, no, in doing this, they're going to draw YouTube's attention, provided Team Cunt does, you know, what Team Cunt does. Yes, let's see. And Should also... And also, I'm having uh, my my uh, honesty question here. It says, Rez, I hate to call you a liar, but there's no way you're too ugly to make a joint bikini shoot with Cheshire a bad thing. <laughs> well, I guess you're going to have to fly up to Canada. I'm, 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 I'm just going to... Guys, fund him. There. Fund him getting his dumb ass up here. I'm, I'm just going to let that hang there. Just going to let that hang there. But... Or in, fly uh, me down to Florida, then I can see a rocket launch. <laughs> now here's go we'll find my at. PayPal at blah 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 blah. <laughs> we are at 58 retweets, 56 likes. Let's see if we can get that up to 100 uh, retweets. Also, if you guys uh, want to also call Jaronism a little shit, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm not saying you should do that, but if you were to do it, I wouldn't exactly be upset. So. I'm looking at Twitter right now on the profile, Water. and for the rest of them, I'm showing a similar number of, actually not even close, it's the pinned one that's actually getting the most retweets, but that's good, that's good. Keep it going, guys, keep it going. Retweet all of them, by the way. YouTube has to be made aware of it. They're Apparently, they're not tolerating this shit anymore, so make them not tolerate it. Make them aware. And also, I'm thinking about getting in contact with Ruhib for other reasons. <laughs> but uh but uh sean uh yeah. did you also go to their supposed headquarters yes i did now how did that work out for you uh <laughs> there there was nothing there identifying anything about fe core anywhere on the premises hmm interesting now th that's questionable right now why why is that why is that questionable well, because to be a um, to actually have a article of incorporation placed in Indiana, you, your business address has to actually match your mailing address. Their mailing address is to um, this old Mennonite church. It's not a church anymore. I mean, but it does run several businesses that are clearly marked, except for Evie Core. 
they do not have an identifiable office in Indiana, which is actually against the law in Indiana. Hmm. Interesting. So they're apparently, uh, they, they apparently have a history of doing shit ass backwards. Well, it's not ass backwards. They're just using it as a mail front to make a fake corporation. They are frauds. They are frauds. They are frauds. Now, uh, didn't they try to come at you for uh, calling them frauds? Oh, Mike threatened to take me to court, and I told him to go ahead, and then he dropped that like a sack of bricks. And that's that was the last of the, the interaction between me and Mike. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. As Jaronism would say, interesting. It's very interesting how we're seeing a pattern of behavior here, huh? So, so like I said earlier, you know, if, if FE Core is so damaged because of Sly's video showing them to be frauds, like they are, why didn't Mike threaten to take him to court or actually take him to court? Slander or libel, yeah. Um, but instead, he has to resort to privacy complaints. Because well, let's he... be honest, because he knows that he would be fucked if he was to go to court. It, yeah, it's the same reason I actually declared that he wouldn't sue me for, is because he doesn't want those books to become public record. Hmm. That would, that, that would royally fuck him, wouldn't it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so... So, well, here, here's, here's my thing, here's my thing. If I, if I were to, I don't know re-upload those videos that Mike seems to have a big fucking problem with, and I were to not censor it or edit it at all, and dare him to come at me, and have a guarantee that if he were to come at me, that I would respond with legal action, um, what, what, what do you think would happen there? What do you think would happen? Oh, oh right. They'd hit you with privacy claims until the video was gone. Oh, right. You mean you, yeah, would, but that... you would like to do what I'm planning on doing tonight on both of my channels? What's that? Because I already have the main video that uh, they were attacking on Sly's channel. I, I just have to upload it to both of my YouTube channels and click publish. Yes, I, 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 could, I could do the same because here's the thing. Um, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but given the conversations I've had with this gentleman before, I don't think it's going to be that big of a fucking problem. There's a guy who is uh, one of the main reasons another dipshit who shall remain unnamed is currently going through the legal hellhole. And I think that he would be more than happy to sponsor such an endeavor should the need come up. So if Epicor really wants to fucking test me here... Um, I give them the red carpet. I say go ahead, and I will respond by basically dragging them through the legal shit grave and making it clear that you don't do this to us. I think I think that would be I think that would be a really good thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, to, to quote one of my favorite uh, horrible but great movies. Mess with the best, die like the rest. Yeah, yes. see, I'm I'm going down the World of Warcraft road and going with Illidan. The you are not prepared. Like I said, in in dragging them through through the shit cave, we need to make sure that we have those videos. So, uh, 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 we have Jaren, we have Mike, we have Bob, we have all of them making these privacy complaints. So if we have these videos and all of them are ordered by Mike to make these privacy complaints, that means that all of them would be, uh, uh, how do I say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They would all be fucked. I think, I think that's the word I'm looking for. They would all be fucked. And 82 Productions, you have that video, right? That I do. And actually, Interesting how that works. Hey, Interesting. So, actually, you have let the video. Me, let me go over here, and let me copy this link, and then let me come over here, and now... And now you have the link to download it, and then upload it to your channel as well. Oh, uh, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Ah! I will download it. I will download it, and I will go ahead and mirror it. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that this gets blown up. Um, so, there's also something Mike, said no? for, there's a, something that uh, Red can do that Psy can't, and that is contact YouTube directly because his subscriber base is large enough. Yep. Mm. 
Actually, uh, Red, I, I think I have a better solution for this entire thing. Yeah. Take a picture of yourself and then send it to the address of FE Core. I think the problem should solve itself within 20 minutes. But I don't want to be. Right. The alligators are actually murder. cats that have seen Red's face. <laughs> the punishment is to have to look at Red's face continuously for 30 full seconds, watch their heads explode. Oh. Like I said, I'm, I, I do want to actually pursue this a little bit further because what they are doing is abusing the system. They're trying to get away with it because Slice Arcane has the audacity to criticize them. Um, unfortunately, when you throw your shit into the public marketplace of ideas, uh, you take that risk. People might actually start talking some shit about what the fuck you're actually saying. It happens. It's the internet. Welcome to it. What you guys are demonstrating here is that not only are you flirts, but you're also fucking snowflakes that doesn't know how to take criticism. So your response is privacy complaints. Your response is copyright strikes. Your response is the actual abuse of YouTube systems that YouTube already have said, hey, we don't exactly tolerate this shit. So not only are you guys in the can for that, but when we re-upload these videos, uncensored, of course, because fuck you, that's right, that's why, and we have someone that is willing to sponsor us and going after your sorry asses legally, there's a potential here to fuck yourself up even more than you guys already are. So I should say, come at me, bro. Come fucking at me. Jaren, I kicked your ass in debate. I will kick your ass legally as well. So we have a couple comments from the live chat for you, right, to, that we might want to consider from Drew G. It's a felony to put toxic material in a mailbox. <laughs> and from... <laughs> and from and from Rodent, no last name, sending Red's face via snail mail would be considered a terrorist act. <laughs> I like Ghostly Enigma, who said, Now, now, it's not like they're going to have me go to Canada. Has, uh, has the, has that would result in the death of 90% of the maple trees. Red's face is Dr. Pimple Popper's wet tree. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, I heard that Reg was thinking of, of thinking of going to visit the Amazon rainforest and the trees panicked. L let me give some advice to Mike here. Because you took the legal advice of Anthony Riley about using privacy complaints to take a video down without retort because there's no uh, there's no um, counter ability for that. What that tells me is that every video that every member of FE Core has ever done, Jaronism, Bob, that mentions my name or shows my face. Apparently, even though it's all publicly out there because I have a YouTube na channel named at, after my actual name, according to you and Anthony's legal advice, I can, I can actually privacy claim anytime somebody uses my publicly available name. That's the message you're sending out there, Mike. Should I follow through with that? Absolutely not, because it's absolutely retarded because it doesn't violate privacy. Do it. Mm -hmm. Your information is public, dumbass. Can we, can, can we all just privacy claim on the basis of Sean's name alone? Like no, each one it's, of it's us will individually. This is what Mike is trying to say is because my name is public out there, it's it's a privacy violation to use my name. That, that's actually, not stupid. Your legal advice is, Mike. Yep. Okay. I, I recommend that nobody actually does this. We are better than those flat earthers. We don't have to plenty little tricks to get the matter resolved our way. Unlike yeah, them. exactly. Right now, we're already the like it, would, it would be stupid for me to actually try that legal route because it's stupid. This is the advice that Mike was given by Anthony. That's, do, that's privacy claims, do privacy claims against your publicly available information that they publicized. Are, are they behind? Do they not realize that there is now recourse to them? Like, there didn't used to be. Like, YouTube you used to be able to flag whatever the hell you want, and nothing would happen to you as the flagger, but that's changed relatively recently. Are they just unaware of this change? Like, do you think they're just out of the loop in knowing that, or...? They're just they're doing just what they're, stupid. they're just at that point of desperation that they can't keep this fraud that they're doing out of public eye. So mm -hmm. they're using whatever tactics they can to, to silence it. Yep, silence the fact that Slice of Arcane did a beautiful job exposing them. And, also, and here's, a, here's, a here's a little fact. Here's a little fact for Mike that he needs to understand. You're claiming to have a nonprofit organization. By definition, a nonprofit organization 
has zero privacy. All information about that organization is public knowledge. Oh, God. Because, because they are held accountable first and foremost to the public. Not yes. the law, to the public. And also claim privacy as a nonprofit is fraudulent. Yes. Also, a strong life. Hey, at Red's right. Make sure to make sure slice uh, cites the fact they include a link to their own fecore.org website in their own video descriptions. They are therefore giving away their own identity through YouTube. So basically, you're doing a privacy complaint against something that you shitheads have already done. You know this shit isn't legit. Like, what the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? Ugh. This is why it needs to go to manual review and actually get a person at YouTube involved, because as soon as they look into it, the resolution will take 10 fucking seconds of verification. They'll see, wait a minute, they're claiming this. Hey, let me go to that website. Well, fuck, mm -hmm. the information's right there. So, we have how many accounts that just did a false claim? Okay, gone, 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 gone. That's that's the way it sh should be. And especially because um, if if there since there are seven members and seven of those uh, jackasses have their own email addresses, and I assume those email addresses are connected to their YouTube accounts, next thing you know, boom, done, 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 all of you get fucked. That's the way it should be. And Jaren can kiss his over 100k subscribers good fucking bye. And good luck making it back again. Because I'm sorry, that ship has long since sailed. So, We're here now, motherfuckers. So Harry Warp just asked, what if FE Core takes down the pictures, etc.? See, here's the thing. As Sean has already mentioned, they are claiming a tax-exempt non-profit status, which means the identifying information about the board has to be publicly and readily accessible, not to mention all the other information that, through appropriate channels, is also easily and readily accessible. Yes. They're fucked. They're fucked. They have, they have no legal ground to stand on whatsoever. And also, just to drive home the point... Uh, I am posting in the live chat right now the About Us page of FE Core. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Tell me what you all fucking see. Can you <laughs> access that website? Can oh, you oh, see no, it? Red, that, That's only for people who are on their side of the argument. Mike, Mike says that, oh, that that page is only for people who he wants to have it available to. It's not really? publicly. Hmm, it, it's not sure publicly it's available. It's only, it's only publicly available to people he wants to see it. Even, even though... He's a nonprofit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not 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 sure it works that way. And also in that case, your website is broken, Mike. How is that the fault of Slice Farcane? And also, I don't see you actually doing anything to fix it, being that this is your own fucking website. I don't see these images being taken down. I don't see the names being censored. Hell, you fucking tell us what they do. Mike Cavanaugh, president, this Steve Douche Canoe, treasurer, this Karen bitch, secretary. I mean Fuck, man. And the rest of the shitheads are board members. As if that means anything. Yeah, board members that don't exist according to the Articles of Incorporation. Mm-hmm. So, but let's... Which let's again, by the way, is fraudulent. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, guys, in the live chat. Tell me. I'm, I'm curious. Can you all access that website? Can you all view that website? And do you see their names and pictures? Did you have... Did you have to go through any special fucking login screens or did you need special permissions to view those images, uh, to view those those names attached to those images and their fucking place within the fecore.org website? Oh, oh, please, Wooden Toad, please pass this on to Mike and let Red's copyright strike come in. I would love to see where he's shown anything from FE Core that can be possibly copyright struck, stricken. Please, mm -hmm. please let them false flag yet another video. Well, yeah, dig the grave deeper for yourself. Instead of it being six feet deep, you're now going for ten. You are now going for ten. And also, keep this in mind, um, with this uh, false copyright claim shit, with this false privacy complaint shit going on, um, they really cannot be underneath the mistaken idea that this is looking good for them. 
So not only are they showing that they're fucking snowflakes that can't tolerate criticism, but they're showing that they're willing to go to absurd lengths for their snowflakeness. And an update on the uh, Twitters, uh, guys. Thank you so much. We're at uh, 65 retweets. Let's get that to 69 because 69. Uh, we're at to 63 likes. Let's also get that to 69 because 69. And let me also go to my notifications, and we got a few more retweets. Now we're talking. See, that's what I like. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, Chesh uh, had a really good idea, and I want to go ahead and repeat it here. Uh, what about uh, adding uh, Philly D, Philip DeFranco? Because yeah, I, think, I, heard, he, I heard he doesn't like this shit all that much. He's not too keen on that, but also there was, uh, sup, you beautiful bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, he also covered when YouTube did their changes that would uh, ostensibly um, suppress bullshit conspiracy theories. So I think he would be interested in potentially covering a story that is those same conspiracy theory idiots trying to utilize YouTube system to bring down anything Whoa. that proves them wrong. Hang on. Hang on, everyone. Hold the fuck up. Marai Zero, you old decrepit fuck. How have you been? Yeah, where the fuck you been, man? <laughs> Damn, we've, we've missed your sorry ass, dude. Dude, what the fuck, man? You left me all alone. I was scared. I mean, we had that one so, night together, and then I never hear from you ever again. So, Come on, dude. So, so Come on. Do, do I click submit? On? What, I'm she screen sharing. No, 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 no. Uh, just politely ask them to send them the required text form, t text form that they have to publish. But that's not my style. <laughs> but that's much better. But that's yes, not also, my style. AT2, uh, when you have a moment, get Brainy Beaver in here. We right. need the wet beaver. I'll leave I'm not the wet beaver. What the fuck is this shit? Also, uh, Mari Ziller, message me on Skype, asshole. We need to catch up. We have a lot to catch up on. There's some bullshit going on in the flat earth community, and we and we need your uh, very exquisite way you say the word cunt. We, we need that back in our videos. Sorry, I just hit somebody's thing. I didn't mean to. My bad. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong button. I'm on a laptop. I can't take responsibility, and I apologize. I will copy and paste what you said, and I'm sorry. I think I'm permanent banned from that server. Out. Even though I've never been there, I'm pretty sure they banned everybody named Sean Hubbard from Discord. <laughs> Just saying. Mari Ziller. <laughs> what Mari Ziller. How brainy. Mari Ziller should be an inspiration to all of you, and Mari Wu will catch up later on. Uh, for now, back to this. So notifications going up on Twitter right now. This is the update. We are currently at 69 retweets. Yes, we made it to 69. Thanks fuck for that. Um, I'm going to copy and paste the, t uh, the tweet that should be retweeted if you have Twitter. Please retweet it. And go to Team YouTube. Do it at Team YouTube. That's where it should be. That's where you should start. Go there first. And then, after that, retweet it to Philly D, and then retweet it to basically anybody else. Retweet the shit out of it. That's what we need to do. Um, get YouTube's eyes on it, and if Philly D is on it, then YouTube will see it because Philly D. Oh, yeah. He'll, yeah, no, he'll he'll see it for sure. I think Uni was also, Uni Rock was planning on uh, touching on this a little bit. Yes, Uni Rock's going to be um, uh, touching on it. And it's exactly what, what Crypt DK said. Retwat Red's twat, yes. Retwat the twat. Uh, we've now got 438 people in here, so if you want to, it might be a good idea to give a brief redescription of what actually is going on. Sounds good. Okay. Um, there's a YouTuber by the name of Sly Sparkane. Um, Sly Sparkane, S L Y, then Sparkane, S P A R K A N E. He has been uh, making a few videos uh, that have been against a group called FE Core. FE Core is a totally legit, completely non-bullshit organization uh, dedicated to proving that the Earth is flat. Um, 
Because my Sparkane decided to criticize their hilarious oh, fucking bullshit. It's, it's, it's worse than that, Red. He criticized them because Mike invited him to investigate it, and he did. Exactly. Because Slice Parking decided to do what they said he should do, um, they decided to respond to Slice Parking by throwing copyright strikes at him and privacy complaints at him. None of it legitimate. And since YouTube is not very, how, how should we say, um, happy about people abusing their system, uh, we are taking it upon ourselves to spam the ever-living shit out of Team YouTube on Twitter, as well as going through any other avenues that may be available to us or through you guys, you lovely people in the chat, so that YouTube is aware that this bullshit is going on. Their system is being abused by a bunch of butthurt flurfs that can't back up their shit in any other way other than to censor people. I just got that message from Anthony guys. Riley. I am going uh, to back up my bullshit by censoring people from criticizing me. Guys, I, I just got a message over Discord from Anthony Riley. Oh, for fuck's sake. Quote, I'm not arsed or supporting. I'm just watching Sly wriggle like a bitch and see if he survives. Want some popcorn? End quote. Yeah, uh, about that. Um, Anthony was on Nathan's show today. I, I found out about this because when I was... When, Sly was live streaming. People were talking about how Anthony was over on Nathan show, bragging about Sly's channel being deleted. So after Sly being was deleted, live streaming, well, because it's gonna, you know, if they put if all these strikes go through, his channel is actually at risk of being deleted. Uh -huh. So I went over after the, after Sly was done streaming, and I went through the video to find out where Riley was talking about all this shit. And sure enough, at twenty minutes and eight seconds. He starts talking about how we have to bow our heads as the funeral of Slice Parking channel, all, all this. And he's bragging about how, you know, the channel is going to disappear. Nathan actually defended Sly, shocked as I was, because he said that it's, it'd be bullshit for his channel to go away. Anthony said, well, Effie Core is trying to steer clear of this whole mess. Implying that Effie Core has nothing to do with this. It gets what better. the actual fuck? It gets better. A little less than an hour later, he's over on Jose's channel talking to somebody, and they actually press him about how, you know, if he doesn't know the ins and outs, how does he know how many strikes that Sly has coming? So he says, well, I was on the phone with Mike from FE Core, um, and he told me. Now, mind you, he talked to Geo before he went on Nathan's show. Yes, that's and, correct. And, and he actually announced how many strikes Sly had coming before yeah. the show. Yeah. Even though he had it firsthand from Mike Cavanaugh, president of FE Core, how many strikes Sly was about to get from FE Core, he went on Nathan's show and said that FE Core has nothing to do with it. Well, and the real kicker, I heard about this before the live streams even started because, wait a minute. Gio, didn't you have a particular conversation with someone? Yeah, with Riley. Over Discord. And he was saying the same shit then. Let me quote him. Um, so yes, this morning, please do. Please quote him. Yeah, well, this morning, this afternoon, actually, at 14.55, he said, quote, I know something you don't know. Sly is about to lose his channel literally within hours. And... I think I kind of surprised him by answering, oh, you're talking about the false copyright claim flagging attack uh, by you and the uh, FE Core. Um, and he said, he answered, quote, not sure. I'm talking about Sly's two copyright strikes he has. He has a further seven pending and they lapse in the next few hours. His channel is going. He's the first of several, end quote. This actually continues with for the while, so there was a back and forth. If, if you want the entire thing, I can send you uh, screenshots of it. Yes, yes, because here's here's the thing. It that right there, that's 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 good. That is gold right there. If you can uh, screenshot that and send that to me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and retweet that shit. Wait a second. So I'm going to tweet that shit out. I'm going to tweet that shit. So thank you, thank you, uh, Anthony Riley. Thank you for proving once again that you are indeed dumb fuck of the year material. Because you are now showing yeah. everyone just how shitty these people are at FB Core. And also trying to defend them while also throwing them under the bus at the I mean at the exact same time. That's that's some gold standard dumb fuckery. Why not both? 
I'm going to defend them and throw them under the bus. What could possibly go wrong? Isn't it? I mean, it, this actually makes sense to Anthony Riley. I have to live with that fact. It actually makes sense. It's almost like they don't know how to get the fuck out of their own way. I know. It's so fucking cringy. And, and by the way, Brainy, Brainy, you can unmute anytime you like. Yeah, Brainy, what the fuck? Uh, let's check out your... <laughs> so Brainy's been talking the whole time and didn't oh. know he was muted. I met going on myself. Gotta Brent, do, do me a favor screen, and check, check your Skype, please. I already sent you two of those uh, screenshots you were asking for. Just, just, just for Mike. Um, I, I don't know how. I, I, I don't know how the defendant could have possibly come to this conclusion. That's all that needs to be said about Anthony. <laughs> if you, if you've done research into your own people, you know what that means. And Anthony, yeah. life's a beach. Oh, also, let me uh, point to something that uh, Anthony has said, uh, or it will lead to several of your friends losing their channel. So that's this is a threat. This is a threat where he, they are saying, we're not only going to do this backhanded bullshit against Lice Arcane, we're also going to try it against other people. So I assume uh, people like you, Sean, you're a target. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know I'm a target. target. I'm waiting for the email. Me. I'm a fucking target of this nonsense. Oh god damn. This is this is this is, this has the ability to blow up in their faces in a way that they could not fucking fathom. So uh, Sleeping Warrior, your threats, they're they're cute, they're adorable, they're, you know, fucking, you know, mwah, tasty. This would be intimidating if you were well, you know, intimidating. I think I, I think Anthony Liley should be uh, nominated for Dumb Fuck of the Year just because he thinks he's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, but I'll go ahead and uh, tweet these out. So because this uh, this shows that uh, FD Court knows pretty goddamn well what they're doing. Correct. They're did you already did you already check out the third one? Because in the third one, he's actually admitting that he has no idea whether they filed uh, copyright claims or privacy claims. Yet he's still supporting them. I don't think Reds is in that conversation. No, no, in the screenshots. Yeah, in the screenshots. In the screenshots here, yeah. Yeah, not sure if they are copyright or community guideline strikes. I just know that he has several. So it looks like that even though um, there is a bit of a delay between them filing and, uh, and YouTube informing Sly that, hey, this shit has been filed, They've wasted no time already bragging about the fact that they have sent out several of these bullshit claims out because Sleeping Warrior now knows about it. So, so Sleeping Warrior no knows about it while trying to say that they are trying to avoid the situation. He's throwing them under the bus. So, okay, you can hear me now, right? Yes. There we go. Throwing them under the bus at the ex at the exact same time, which is a beautiful contradiction and shows the thinking of clerks. Congratulations, Riley. Congratulations. You are the gift that this keeps on giving. Wait, wait. Flurfs? <sighs> no. Actually, you, you can actually no. see when, when the Fladota is trying to think. Um, you approach them, you see black smoke coming out of the ears, and suddenly it smells like burnt clutch. <laughs> <laughs> A burnt Volkswagen clutch, to be clear. Fuck you. And by she the way, I, I, I didn't actually like smell that. It just stopped working. Oh, I see. No, no, you just smelled your headliner that was slowly dripping from the roof, huh? Yeah, no, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are retweeting this at me as well, so I can retweet your fucking shit. So, what's really Damn funny it. is, Red will away. pick... Red will away! Pick, <laughs> Red will pick on you for the Volkswagen vehicle, Gio, but he can't pick on mine, and they're owned by the same company overarching company. Are you talking about your Ducati? Yes. Uh, I thought you were talking about the, the monolith, the Odyssey. No, not the Odyssey, unfortunately. Although, right. although oddly enough, so, I have gotten Red to drive a minivan. <laughs> it was it, terrible. 
And oh oh here's here's the hilarious part. He actually enjoyed it because it was peppier than he thought it would be. Aww. It, it does have a V6, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Apparently it also has VTech. So. So, so Reg is all prepared to be a mom. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, Aww. moving moving on, moving on. <laughs> we're up to 76 retweets, 68 likes. YouTube is probably wondering what the fuck is going on right now. So let's just keep it up. And uh, seventy-six. Yeah, there's 473 people watching. There should be 473 retweets. If you don't have a Twitter, make one. Make a Twitter just for the sole purpose of retweeting my tweets. God damn it, retweet it to. You have more than what? You have more than one email. Make another one. Exactly. That's that's the tweet. Go ahead and and retweet twat and make sure that's twatted out to fucking YouTube and shit. And also put Billy D on there as well because it's bullshit. Like and share, like and share, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it with your friends, throw it in their faces. Throw Kick it them in the face with your energy legs. Okay, and and here's the thing. If we get this, if we if, if we tweet out, let's let's hypothetically say that there's only what where are we at? Seven point two billion people on the planet. If this almost eight at this point, seven point eight billion, I think. All right, if we get if we retweet this 7.8 billion times, I want all of you guys in the chat to start fucking so we can have more people to retweet this. <laughs> Anthony Riley is so dumb because of fetal trauma. His mother saw a picture of Red's face while pregnant. <laughs> okay, now I got to try again. I think I have the stream in the background and everything. That's better. Brainy, yeah. about fucking time. Yay, audio problems. And it's okay. I You're was, Canadian. Uh, we expect nothing. I had more. to. I had to come here and get hugs. I was. I was on another show, and I was very meanly. I wasn't. They were fine. I mean, I just. It was a topic that nobody wants to really talk about. So <laughs> it I was a listen. contentious topic at best. Listen. I was invited as the only dissenting person in on team. I'm okay with circumcision, and it was not a good conversation. Look, look, look. <laughs> look we'll talk about dick yeah, chopping you know later. First feels. First. I said we'll talk about dick chopping later. Oh, come first, on, Red. You first. don't want to talk about penis right now? What so is wrong with subject. you? Listen. I, anyway, listen, it's listen. fair enough that it's a touchy subject. What? I can get behind listen, that. Listen, listen. Yeah, about, talk news. about dick um, chopping later. We're talking about apparent, Apparently, Subarats is sticking up for Sly. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Subarats is circumcised. I'm not sure where you were going for a second there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hat, or, hat or no hat? Are, are you uh, big 2.0? <laughs> um, anyways, that was the subject I didn't want to talk about on the other channel, so I should just, I was just Beaver, making jokes. Beaver, 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 can, can I, can I talk to you for a second? No, I, I'll speak in French. Hold on, let me look it up. What? There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, Beaver, hey, listen, it's just, it's just me and you now, okay? I'm taking you to this room so we can talk, okay? Using the stall, can you please tell me where the doctor touched you? <laughs> In the dick, that's where! We right know! Right there, we right in the middle. <laughs> I got whiskey back when I was a kid. They used to give you whiskey, though, so I was I was a drinker before. So, like, I'll just make a little meme with a baby, like like a Dos Equis ad or something. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. When circumcision I... isn't a problem. Here, baby, have the whiskey. <laughs> when, when I get circumcised, I know I drink Dos Equis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always get circumcised, but when I do, I drink the... Yeah, okay. See, this uh, is the kind of conversation I'm in for, Chess. I mean, you know, but it's just, it was way too intense over there for me. Got, and I'm like, got okay. Super, uh, got uh, super hang on, hang on, uh, uh, 82 Productions, question. Yes. Uh, do you have the ability to make uh, Brainy Beaver kind of, you know, not there anymore? <laughs> uh, I could, but why? Uh, and then, no, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, just wondering. It's just a. I feel like question. Reds is trying to pull a flex. I, I could, but why? Like I said, I just want to know that you could. I'm not saying we will. Stop anyway, talking about baby this. penis. <laughs> anyway, back to this. So I looked at the screenshots that uh, Geo sent me, and so let me go ahead and read this. Um. I'm not ours or support. I'm just watching Sly uh, and see if he survives. Want some popcorn? Question mark. So, so with this being said, uh, it's clear that they know what they're doing. Effie Core knows what they're doing when it comes to throwing these false claims against Slice Arcane. 
because they're now so bragging about awesome. it to the point where fucking Anthony is now aware of it. Uh, uh, Taco Red. Bell's not gonna hire Karenism. Red, we we actually have another uh, uh, salient and actually a damn good suggestion for who to tag on the re- on the retweets. Oh, who? Tim Pool. Oh, Tim Pool. Yes. Who is Tim Pool? I don't know who that is. Yeah, he, I was going to bring it up, but I didn't know who it was. He's an independent journalist that is all about free speech and uh, combating platform-based type censorship and abuse of automated processes. This is right up his alley to cover. Yes. So let's do this. I'm going to do at Tim Pool. And thank you, Dim Sum Nim Sum, for messaging me that, reminding me of it. Because I, I will admit, I don't watch Tim Pool often, but I am aware of what he does because I've seen him come across my feed enough in the last couple months. You know who we should also talk to? I remember in this entire Thunderfoot saga about a decade ago, uh, what was the name of his lawyer? Also a Canadian guy, I think. Astronomy Live is telling you to also tag Leonard French. Oh, <laughs> Leonard French, he's the lawyer. Yeah, he's the lawyer. He knows his copyright shit. He's got a lot of viewers. For yes, those DPR, want... DPR Jones, that's that's the one I'm talking about. Thank you. Yeah, for, for those of you who want to uh, re, uh, retweet this Tim Pool, it's at TimCast. So that would be the uh, Twitter account that you would retweet it to. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sleeping warrior so dang we tripped over a cordless phone. <laughs> <laughs> nice and super chat. Okay, so can uh, for five dollars super chat, can someone please locate F E Core's engineer of record? I like to know who not to hire to design a new outhouse. Let's see and retweet. Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. I fucking appreciate it. All super chats are appreciated, as always. Tim Cast. Okay. All right. Okay, so we've went ahead and sent that to Tim Cast. All right. So, guys, just, just retweet this over and over and over again. Retweet it to Philly D. They make another retweet to Tim Pool. Uh, do it to Team YouTube. Anyone that you think would be uh, uh, an influence. Philly D. Word out to as many fucking people as possible. Send it to the Young Turks. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. They are all about censorship. So that's where uh, Chris Gilroy has another good suggestion. Sinatra says. Hmm. All right, retweeted, and so I'm looking at all the retweets now. So currently, uh, we are at 88 retweets, 80 likes, and I'm I really would like to get this to uh, to 100 retweets. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna retweet the PewDiePie. <laughs> Hell fucking retweet yes. it to PewDiePie. Oh my god, send that shit to PewDiePie. Quick, everybody start, okay, anybody who's ready for this, anybody who's got a Reddit account, post it on Reddit. Yes, post it on, on Reddit. Fucking do it. Reddit post will it link. on Reddit. Reddit. You want that sweet, sweet karma? Go get that sweet, sweet karma. Alright, and... I don't think they just... I think I really don't think they realized what community they pissed off. Well, yeah, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my shit, as Cheshire would so affectionately say. Never. Don't run. fuck with my shit. Yes, like that. Just that, but, but all the time. And uh, yes, Astronomy Life says r slash uh, YouTube. So thank you, Astronomy Live. By the way, I sent you a link to get in here, Astronomy Live. So you're more than welcome to hop on in. And uh, uh, yeah, there's an entire subreddit for our YouTube, and there's an entire red subreddit for like science and flatter. There's like subreddits for everything. If you can imagine it, there's a subreddit for it. Go spam. It. You could even spam it to um, uh, the subreddit that well, there was an attempt. 
and just title it essentially uh there was attempt to convince people the earth was flat or there was an attempt to bring down the debunk channels for uh like hang on uh cheshire you got the uh you got the uh, uh chat up yes i do okay can you read the five dollar super chat please yes i can like better than me also uh this is from intellectual iconoclasm iconoclasm yes. hopefully that's yes, pronounced great right. guy also oh god <laughs> Reketeka? Rekita. Rekita. Rekita, thank you. Also, hit up Ratika Law. Already stated he'll rep for a small fee on responses to false flags. $50 to $150 to preserve privacy and real representation. I think I just ran an ad. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and also, I just want to give credit where credit is due. Astronomy Live said the exact same thing for the back in the live chat. So thank you, Astronomy Live. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, encourage everyone to, if if uh, if Rakita Law has a Twitter, retweet. I would also like to point out that Jigsaw Harlequin just said, "Fuck it, I just posted it on Hor Pornhub." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that that won't work. They don't allow S-rape this uh, of that magnitude. And uh, Brainy, we see the Velociraptor chewing on uh, peanut butter, but don't hear anything. Okay, oh, activate fighting, I, I think it was activating on my, I don't know, this, I think I got to turn my activation thing up. I think it was activating on my typing. No, nah, Brainy is just a uh, part of our, our uh, group trying, like, trying to shill garbage and make money by chewing gum for us that he can sell to people. <laughs> Bathwater and pee. That's the one I want. Yep. <laughs> guys, guys, listen, I'll be selling my bath water later. We'll talk about that later. We're up to 93 retweets. Red's black red's, and bubbling. Yeah, I was going to say Red's bath water comes in a radioactive container. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, and, and guess what? The container is glowing. Hold on. I need to know more. Somebody in the chat just said they're representing Vic and the the voice actor in the slender case and the sl his cl slander slander case. Are they? Because I've been following that relatively closely, and I did not see that person as their lawyer. So if you have a link to that, please link it to me or tweet it at me because I've been following that, and I would love to see if that is actually the case. And also, uh, suck my spinning balls for five dollars. No message, but thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Lies. Reds doesn't bathe. <laughs> you, you've got a great name, Suck My Spinning Ball. As, as, uh, of, as of right now, as of right now, Sean, you are correct. So, uh, from the Athens 619, can someone upload Sly's video to Pornhub for fucking six, six people? Uh, your count is wrong. He got seven of them. Seven. We're up to 93 retweets. Come on, guys. 94. Let's get this over 100 retweets. All of them at Team YouTube. There's going to be 100 fucking tweets out. I'm going, Jesus fucking Christ. All the tweets. All the retweets. All the time. All the retweets. All the time. Billy D, help me out here. Come on. We're bros, aren't we not? So Let's see. Also looking at this. Oh. If you were gross with Philly D, I think I would pragasm. Just a little bit. All right, we got 484 people watching. Let's keep on retweeting. I'm going to post the uh, tweet again in the live chat. We're going to do this again. Control C and Control D. Uh, GPS, seven people. Sounds like a slow week for Jaren's wife. Ooh. 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 Damn. Damn, shots fired. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Why would we tag Neil deGrasse Tyson? Ha! Fuck it, tag Neil deGrasse Tyson. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Uh, uh, Lawrence Krauss, too. Elon Musk. Oh my god, tweet at SpaceX. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's go ahead and try try this. Retweet. Retweet with comment. Let's do this. Please get the word out at Bill Gates and post. Nice. 
you, you know that Bill Gates is gonna send his gang, right? MS DOS. <laughs> MS DOS. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, can someone please retweet this to Bill Nye, the science guy as well? Mari Ziller's idea. So Yes. So my retweet, I put the following comment with it on my initial retweet where I only tagged the YouTube specific accounts where uh, I added the commentary, please tell me you're not going to allow a coordinated mass f false flagging campaign to continue. Brilliant. Let's hope, let's hope because uh, Effie Core, you don't fuck with my friends, don't fuck with my shit, don't fuck with my community. Because that's exactly what they're trying to do, and they're trying to do it through ass backwards means, oh boy, I am going to fuck their day up. Oh my god, Vegeta, do it. <laughs> I need eight retweets. Any news from Sly? He's at work. Um, what's that? He's at work. Retweet to Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go fuck people up. That's that. That's that's not what we're. No, I'm not retweeting this to Chuck Norris. At Chuck Norris. Okay, and tweet. <laughs> <laughs> retweet to Mr. T. I paid okay, for. Okay, and retweet to Logan Paul. <laughs> oh, oh my God! God. Wait, didn't he do that flat Earther video? Yes, exactly. absolutely retweeted to Logan Paul. Holy shit! <laughs> Jane Dawson, where's your where's your documentary crew? Get on this shit. <laughs> Casey Neistat, <laughs> you're doing news, aren't you? Get in here. Let's be honest. If you tweet it to Logan Paul, he'll only respond if you call the company um, FE Corpse. All right. Please help at real Donald Trump. <laughs> Quick tweet okay. at God. Retweet to everyone. Fuck it if it doesn't make sense. Doesn't need to make sense. It Everybody tweet it at the DD crowds. Tweet it at Critical Role. Tweet it at Matt Mercer. Actually, can 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 a few people just acknowledge that you know I just retweeted something to Donald Trump for the very first time in my entire fucking life and now I feel dirty? Nope, don't acknowledge it. Ignore him. Fuck it. Fuck. <laughs> Also right, tag well, 99 people. Retweets. Oh my god, quick, somebody tweet at drama alert. Somebody tweet at theme star. Oh <laughs> <laughs> quick tweet I dubs. Get get H3H3. H3. Actually, that might not be a bad one. To actually tweet at H3H3. H3. Already on it. Ethan might actually get on this. Ooh, ooh, here's another one because he uh Another lawyer to potentially uh, tweet at, and thank you, Thoughts by Jay, for uh, pointing me to the comment in the live chat. Tag the half Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond, who constantly works with Steven Crowder. Oh. So he's used to dealing with YouTube. Ooh. Mm. Tweet at Joe Rogan. At Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh my God, can we tweet at Joe Rogan so much that Reds has to show up on Joe Rogan's show? Yeah, you're yeah. freaking people out. Yeah. It's, it's the makeup. They're freaking well, out. Well, I had to wear makeup. I did the photo shoot today for your fundraiser. Right, but it, the whole makeup thing's freaking people out. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, if you guys want to see the full spread, you got to gotta get that donation up. The, the, the photos are there. They're Giggity. waiting for you. Fred. Fuck off. Uh, that, that's... Uh, Okay, so just so everybody knows, I am buying sugar this week, and uh, I have a date set for possibly, I think it's Thursday, because I made promises that involved a small kiddie pool and at least five <laughs> gallons of sugar syrup. Is so, it <laughs> hey, Brainy. Oh. Hey, Brainy. Hey, Brainy. Do yeah. me a favor. Shut the fuck up for a second. At Red no, no, no. Sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of all the things you've done in life, Donald Trump is the dirtiest, question mark? Well, dirtiest in the mind. <laughs> and, uh, Not as dirty as a sugared up, uh, sugared up beaver. Hey, Red, 100 retweets. Brainy, for my part in suggesting this, I'm not sorry. Oh, it's going to be fun. I'm having Factard and Christ Pencher are going to come over. My wife's got the bikini selected, and I've picked a day that's 20 degrees, and I asked her if she had any boots with the fur because I told people I'd let her dress up in a warm, warm outfit. So she's got some boots with some fur around the around the ankles. She's going to wear that in the bikini. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. 
Oh damn! I should have worn my can. I should have worn my Canada hat. Do and I'm taking. Hey, this is because I took and I am I I signed up for this. So I. By the way, everybody, there's going to be Mrs. Beaver and and a sticky sticky beaver in because I got pictures coming and everything, and that's going to be part of the. It's a calendar, isn't it? Something? I feel like the yeah. I feel like the photos that I that end up going out for this are basically going to open the doors for me to actually make a business off of selling pictures. <laughs> I feel like I that's going to happen. Other things. Among other things. <laughs> what kind of pictures are you selling, Chess? Where oh, can we find you? I'm not selling any. I want to point something. Uh, Team YouTube ha is active as of right now, so I'm just pay attention to their Twitter. Uh, their How can you see that they're active? Because their most recent tweet was seven minutes ago, eight minutes ago, ten minutes ago, thirteen minutes ago, fifteen minutes ago, sixteen minutes ago. So you think they sensed their phone exploding? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're already up to uh, what is it over 100 retweets? 100 exactly. There you go. Uh, is that you on your thing? Oh, there it John is. John and AT. <laughs> Please help out, real Donald Trump. Sorry, I just saw that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you guys know what tier my pictures are at? I don't know what tiers are. What is this on so, a site? Well, so on wasn't or? it one picture for every thousand dollar threshold with the full calendar at the ultimate goal of 10k? Whatever you decided. I know that that was for red for doing the whole composite image thing from the feet it, up. It was both. Oh well, in that case, she owes us pictures. There, wait, there wait, 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 wait! I haven't heard any of this. Are you actually bearing it all? <laughs> bearing. <laughs> I'm just bring bearing into this. I don't know. Well, bearing. you know, yeah, you know bearing, might... that's a nice, name, nice name drop. You know, we, we should be able hey, to get a hold right you. now. Tweet at him. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Who else? Who else should we? Uh, sure. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go ahead and just repeat. Uh, Sean, do me a favor. What's up? Go ahead and tell everyone again for those who have just joined us why we are here. Because FE Core is a bunch of cowards. Um, they didn't like the fact that at the request of Mike Cavanaugh, president of Fraud Earth Core, that he wanted Sly to investigate the claims that, you know, I continue to say that they're frauds. So he wanted Sly to investigate it himself, so he just didn't have my word to go on it. Sly did exactly that and published his findings. Mike didn't like the butthurt that ensued, so he decided to hit him with, of all things, privacy complaints against Sly using their publicly available and published about page, which shows all of their faces and all of their names. Mm -hmm. So if somehow that's a violation of privacy. That got his first video taken down. And then to add a kicker to it, a video that's been on Sly's channel for over a year that Mike was not only aware of, but actually discussed with Sly on their live stream last week, he decided to hit that with a copyright strike for added good measure. Uh, somebody is saying to tweet at Sleepy Dan. Or no, Sleepy Dan has a good idea to tweet at Legal Eagle. Who's and also, also Stable Eagle says retweet at District, is it legal legal DJ? district where Effie Court is registered. Uh, yeah. Twittered SJC Indiana. Going to go ahead and do that right now. And while uh, tweeting to uh, the YouTuber Legal Legal would be interesting, um, has it, how many people have actually watched his videos? I, I have seen not. two or three of them. Yeah, it doesn't he, matter. It's done. Well, he, <laughs> so he, as, as it stands now, six of those pictures are are paid for. So well, there we go. <laughs> what kind of pictures are we talking about? What's going on? You know what? We'll, we'll find out later. <laughs> That goes for you too, Red. Oh. <laughs> you're you're showing up to belly button height now. There it is. You suck. One, if only uh, the younger sons of your opponent, you had lost. I'm gonna have to take more pictures. That's what's gonna end up happening. Oh, uh, don't don't sound so disappointed. Oh, I'm not. I'm not at all. At me. I find it I, interesting. I, that my, I already said I said this live on stream. I will absolutely sell my body for Sean. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny to me. I'll sell my body for anybody. <laughs> that, that's called desperation. <laughs> hey, whatever. I got a high threshold. What can I say? Womp womp. Let's see. Also, uh, there was a tweet uh, 19 minutes ago. I want to read it. I find it interesting that Mike Cavanaugh went on Slice Barking's channel and didn't say a word, didn't say one word about copyright. He even discussed the other videos, so he clearly was familiar was familiar with the content. Epi Core is a bunch of two faced backstabbing bastards. So, actually, Red, are you able to screen share a website for a short bit? Because it'll be a relevant response to a comment in the live chat. Which website? Well, from Keegan Martin, Reds, are you going to respond to Nathan Oakley talking shit about you? How, well, <laughs> how long well, has I he know been which running? Website. How long has he been running away from that uh, open offer to a debate on a third-party channel? Should be almost oh. a year at this point, I think. God, I think I think so. I mean, I have to find the uh, the countdown calendar, but that is like. I've got it's I've got some that. cameras that I'll sacrifice to get a photo of Reds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's. Hey, I'll get in a bikini. Is there any payoff for this? Who wants a beaver in a bikini? Uh, Reds, I think I already found it. <laughs> oh, you found you found my uh, my. Yeah, my I, I found it. Wait a second, you'll get it through Skype. Holy shit! Right. It's 163 days. Did anybody yeah. ever think they'd see a hairy beaver in a bikini covered in sticky syrup? I mean, come okay. on, that's got to be so, something. So I let's mean, do this. <laughs> did the, did <laughs> well, okay, it depends on how you. <laughs> it depends hang on how on you. Bags, hang on, douchebags. Hang on, douchebags. Okay, so <laughs> that's I'm fair. Do... That's fair. All right, so let's do screen share. Present now. Entire screen. And okay, let's do that and let's hit uh, share and boom. All right, is my screen being shown? No, not yet. Not okay, let's try that again. Share, share, damn it. There we go. There we go. There we are. So Nathan Oakley has been refusing to debate Red's rhetoric, me, on a neutral platform for 163 days, 18 hours, 25 minutes, and 29 seconds. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, he's Nathan he's got a comment been, there. Yeah, hey, Nathan hey, Oakley has been bitch made for a very long time. That's why I had to make a countdown counter. So he, it looks like he commented and said, if Reds wants to debate me, he can debate me on my channel, was the idea. <laughs> yeah, but, but, then, but then you see what Steve McRae said. Uh, but on a neutral platform, Nathan, not on your channel with your finger on the mute button. And never replied to that. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> but thanks for the ad. Uh, yeah. uh, Brainy, somebody said, uh, somebody named Step Away From The Screens said, Mike Cavanaugh isn't circumcised as you have to be a complete dick to be a flipper. <laughs> <laughs> to be a what? A complete a dick. <laughs> a complete dick to be a flipper. You have to be a complete <laughs> dick. There you go. Funny. <laughs> Quick, guys, circumcise your children so they don't become flippers. It's too much there dick there. No, it's <laughs> funny. It is funny you say that. Who is the uh, who's the shithead that was trying to suck Nathan's dick in my in my live live chat? Keegan Martin. Keegan Martin. Hey, uh, so Keegan, if you can do me a favor, if you can tell Nathan Oakley to stop being hashtag bitch me, that would be great, and I'll be more than happy to debate him and whip his ass. Brett, you know, you know, it on the neutral platform where he doesn't have a finger on the mute button. There you go. Brett, well, you know here, that this will never I'm happen looking. for the simple reason that he's not able to respond because he has to keep one hand on the mute button and the other hand on his tiny penis all the time. Mm -hmm. Here's a nice little um, tidbit that I I just actually noticed. Um, Team YouTube is actually replying to tweets that have not had any retweets. So yes, they'll eventually come to yours and address it. Yeah. No good there. Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking where the videos of me are going to be posted. Now, if I'm recalling properly, I said they're welcome to be made public, which means if you're donating, you're helping out a fellow man. Say that again. 
Somebody you in the chat. Your mic up, dude. Sorry. Somebody, somebody, is that better? Can you hear me? Yeah. Somebody in the chat was asking uh, where the pictures are going to be posted. Um, and if I recall, I had said they're welcome to be public, so that way, if you're donating, you're essentially donating for everybody to get access to these photos. But I'm not sure exactly what the details are on that. There will be a place, uh, a channel set up on Discord for it. Now that the pictures are taken, um, look for them to be available on the UDSA Discord server probably as early as later tonight. And, and if we get to the ultimate goal, which we are over halfway there, it won't just be single pictures. It will be an entire calendar. And then by promptly the destroyed by Red's this, face. By the way, this reminds me of something. On my Discord server, today I started a new channel, a new text channel dedicated only to FE Core. So if yeah. you want to discuss this stuff, um, I'm just going to shamelessly plug myself now and post my Discord link in the side chat. Phrase yeah, it's fine. Anything that's against FE Core is perfectly fine to be a uh, shield out there. Steve's on Twitter complaining about the money shot. <coughs> <laughs> Probably because he was on the receiving end. Yeah. Actually, no, he wasn't. Didn't you take a look at the situation between him and Kyle? <laughs> He's definitely not on the end, on the receiving end of the money shot yet. <laughs> Looking at the centerfold. All right, we're up to 102 uh, retweets, 96 likes. Thank you so much, people. Uh, YouTube should be made aware of this soon, but let's keep the momentum going. So, let's see. Yeah, let's keep spamming them with the retweets so they have to address it. Pretty much. Somebody okay. said, let can be Santa on the last page with a beard and sunglasses to save the world from his face. But the question is, are you going to inc include the Ruger in that image, Red? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I am. A lot of people are triggered by that. I'm going to, I'm going uh, to include Somebody's asking what the Discord is again. All right, uh, let me... Link it! Link it in the chat! Yeah, let me... I have to go to one of my videos to grab the link. Fuck. Uh, we're professionals here. I don't know what you're talking about. Because it's not like I started all this in, what, five minutes, Red? Maybe less? Something like that. Listen, you're the producer. You're professional. All this shit should be templated out already. See, for my streams, it is. Okay, but, like, your links and shit should also be in a template. Do you need to hire me? Do you need to hire me? I can build all this for you. I, I would also like to point out something else. There's a huge misconception ever since this whole um, YouTube has started actually suing people for false copyright claims. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to present this because um, this is an interesting little retweet by Team YouTube that they just did 10 minutes or like 10, 15 minutes ago. Oh. Um, following up, our copyright team has confirmed that the claim is invalid. So they are now judging copyright claims that are disputed. It's not just an automated system entirely anymore. Nice. Um, so, yeah, when Sly files his counterclaim, I highly doubt that it's just going to go through an automated system for that because YouTube can actually be held liable for copyright claims that are false that they allow. Uh, Sean, didn't you say earlier that Sly has already filed the counterclaim? The counterclaim, yes, but he's not going to hear from YouTube on that for like up to 30 days. Um, okay. But the privacy complaints, there's no, there's no way to um, retort against it except for sending something to the policy team on YouTube, and that's just an automated canned response unless you've got so many subscribers. Because then you get an email to somebody else. <laughs> but yeah, uh, YouTube does have a copyright team that does look into false claims. So, yeah, Mike, you're fucked. Oh, it's so fucked. Oh, it's so this fucked. That's why we're here. So that's why we're here. Make sure you, you are fucked and that you stay fucked. So so oh just, just because, just so you can see this, Mike, from Team YouTube, this is about somebody else, but it, it applies in this case too. Following up, our copyright team has confirmed that this count, this claim is invalid. Oh my god! Yeah. So they they are re, they are reinstating this guy's videos within two business days because the the actual initial claim, i.e., what your dumbass did, 
is not a valid claim. If anybody is familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, there's something called Sovereign Glue, and it's essentially super glue, but it's magic, and it can only be undone by Universal Solvent or a Wish Spell. This is what this is. He's got a dick shoved so hard and so far up his ass, just coated in Sovereign Glue, and it's just in there, and it's just gonna stay there forever. Ever. Yep, so most recent one was six minutes ago. And apparently they will also uh, respond in not English. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know that one language, not English? <laughs> that one. Yep. So, going through it, I'm seeing here that they are active, so continue to retweet at them. Make sure that they're aware that, yes, um, we're not taking this shit, so uh, be sure to look into it. Hey, uh, AP2, did you just put a link to your Discord that isn't a valid link? Did you use I the temporary link, or did no, you use No, no, I, I used the prior permanent one that apparently it wasn't supposed to expire, but did. So I just generated a new one that doesn't expire and has no limit and have posted that. Fantastic. You're a doll. See, it's almost like I read the chat, and when someone says, hey, that link didn't work, I immediately created a new one. I, I apologize. <laughs> I do not expect anybody but me to re be reading the fucking chat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, also, I, posted, I posted the link to uh, Slice Barkane's uh, video, The Copyright Strike. Um, so that way you can kind of catch up. It's 31 minutes long or over 31 minutes long, but it's worth a watch, as yes. well as the yes. other yes. two That's videos right. that you made on it. Yes, menace to sobriety by breaking Article F. They are actual criminals. Congratulations, Mike. You are now a felon for committing perjury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't say under penalty of perjury. You it does, and you have to, and you have to click a check mark. To the best of my knowledge, this is factual yeah. under the penalty of perjury. Well, they they've just stepped up their act about all this stuff with suing people because they just sued uh, up uh, this change where. Um, yeah, this change they made that. where they're yeah, like where they're not. Uh, well, no, but I think that the one you talked about, I'm surprised. I was surprised to hear about. They've sued. They've been suing a few people then, because they've actually changed the rules with the way like sound, you know, like manual claiming of things works and stuff like that. And they've even gone after suing a, a few people, obviously, because I didn't hear about that one until you guys talked about it. Oh fuck my phone! You have a phone call. We don't get phone calls on that number. I'm calling about my child support, you fuck. Ring, ring, <laughs> ring, phone call, phone call. NASA's calling. Ring, 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 ring. Anyway, coming back to it. Uh, as another update, um, we just had a good hit. So 107 retweets, 101 likes. So that's good. Uh, as of right now, YouTube should be uh, getting their shit kicked in sideways, which is actually what we wanted. Billy D has also been uh, retweeted. I'm looking at his Twitter right now, as well as Tim Pool, which is great. And we've even gone so far as to retweet this to uh, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> President, help us. President, help us. I just want these you to know. These flat earthers are Mexican. With your huge hands. These, these flat earthers. Uh, we have to build a wall around all the flat earthers, okay? They're bringing they drugs. Got they bring gotta pay for it. You know what you should have done, Red? Um, tweet to Donald Trump, but include the, has the hashtag not my president in the same tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what will get his attention. Okay, I see how it works. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. I like it. I'm going to do it. All right. So let's see. 108 retweets and going through. Oh, uh, the, someone was asking about the lawsuit one. Yeah. Here's that story right here for your viewing pleasure. There's that one in case you guys wanted to uh, view. I said I would, I would post it. There it is. I'm sorry. Did I just see in the chat something? How many people here are going to use Vix Picks as relaxation material? Please do. D define relaxation. 
That's I, why don't it was care. Cool. I don't even care what relaxation is. <laughs> do you. The pictures have been made public. What you do with them privately <laughs> is Church, on you. Church, I think that was the whole implication of that message was you do you. Yeah. <laughs> and that was an instruction, not a not a um <laughs> <laughs> even Bailey's tricked at Effie Core now for two dollars. Thank you very much. All super, all super chats are appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. Trump is a flurfer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He would be. There was no collusion. I've never seen a so, mouth shaped like a butthole. So George oh. says, I've never seen a mouth shaped like a, shaped like a butthole like Trump's. Uh, have you met Anthony Riley? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm taking a look at uh, Keynes. All right, good. So we got uh, 200. I, right I wonder who that's from. But we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. And as far as the Twitters, we're up to 109. I'm sorry, 108 retweets. So. As of right now, YouTube, I think, has been bombarded. That's good. I'm going to post it one more time so anyone who hasn't retweeted it can retweet. Um, if you only have one account, make another and retweet it again. And keep keep it up, guys. Just keep it the fuck up. Uh, and yes, you can expense the Viagra if needed. All the Viagra. Team Skeptic! How you doing, you sexy son of a bitch? Team, you gotta unmute yourself, damn it. Is he already in here? Did, oh, yes, did, he, did, did, did he just wake up again? Team, you're reminding me of my unhappy childhood. Don't do this to me. You know, Team Skeptic is the only one that didn't really react to my con signal. Team, for fuck's sake, say something, man. Say it, it something. Could have been because he was deep in another one at the time. <laughs> say something, anything, man. Is the Lego alive? Or did the Twinkie take over? If you can't say something, try saying stuff using Morse code with the dinger. He lives. And we will all <laughs> yeah, there you are. Yes. He lives. I've been all. talking this whole fucking time. God. If you're being held hostage. Uh, say, say something. One, Blink with your eyes. I'm just kidding. One ding means yes, two Y'all dings heard mean me. no. Yes, you heard me. Yes. No? Yes. yes. Now we do. Yes, okay. we can hear you. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. Oh, uh, with the fucking German yelling at me, telling me to ding people or else. I just, uh, I didn't know if y'all could hear me yet or not. Yes, I'm sexy. I'm here. You can ding I'm me awake. if you want. How are you doing? What? How's everybody doing? <laughs> what? Well, that didn't say anything. To sum it up, Why everybody's you... pretty fucking pissed, I guess. I have to tell you, Team Skeptic, I was uh, in my garage doing honey extraction things, listening to your latest video, and uh, like I turned it on with my back turned and started working, and as I turned around, and that's when I realized that uh, that you are you now, and I forgot you weren't Lego Man, so I turned around and was like, ah, holy shit, <laughs> it can't spook me a little. <laughs> my favorite was the first stream I saw that had Team showing himself and had... Um... Uh, fight the flat earth in it fight the flat earth was wearing a superman shirt <laughs> <laughs> i thought that was appropriate yeah i just remember oh. thinking like who's this meth addict on my screen i clicked on a team skeptic video and, wh and what does he say to me the other day <laughs> do you do art is your art any just, good i'll fight I love you. you never uh, let that go never question Shire on her art but team skeptic i have a question for you yeah what's up bro on a scale of one to complete and total horseshit, uh, where would you put uh, Epicor's reaction to Slice Barcane's uh, videos about them? Uh, on, I would say they have blown an O-ring uh, when it comes to their anal uh, their anal gaskets. Uh, they definitely blew O-rings on on this one. They should have not. 
from what, okay, I'm kind of ignorant to the whole thing. I understand a little bit. What exactly? They hit him with a copyright strike, and then what else did they do to him after the copyright strike? No, before they hit him with before the privacy the strike first. Yeah, they well, first hang on, hang on, guys. privacy. Everyone shut the fuck up. Everyone shut the fuck up. Sean Hufford. Okay. Last week, Sly had Mike Cavanaugh, the president of FE Core, on his channel to mm -hmm. discuss the gyro experiment that FE Core was doing on the FE Core channel. Yeah. Of course, you know, Mike wanted to have me brought in at some point to talk about how my allegations of fraud um, are false. But I, I actually bowed out of that because I wanted him to actually make the topic stick to the whole experimentational thing. So eventually Mike brought it up again and says, well, you need to stop believing people that say stuff on your channel. Why don't you go look into this yourself and you make your own decision, or make up your own decision. Sly did exactly that at Mike's request. And he came to the same conclusion that they are literally breaking the law left, right, and center about this nonprofit organization. He made a video on it. And <laughs> Mike had no response to all of the factual information that Sly presented. But he had to get rid of this video somehow. So he actually approached all members of FE Corps and told everybody to file a privacy claim against Sly's video because he used their publicly accessible about page, which lists wow. their names and pictures publicly. Well, I've got to say, fuck them. Sly's a good dude. Sly, put, Sly puts in more work than it, most of us do, especially me. So I respect Sly. And if it's a public access, if it's public access, it's not doxing. You, yes. You, if you're, if you're fit going for a nonprofit organization, and and you're running that there's there's stipulations that you're trying to get around paying taxes basically when you run a nonprofit the idea behind that is you're doing something that's so good to, for the people or that's just good for society that there's no point in taxing you so there's a reason why you need to be scrutinized if you're a nonprofit organization the the public the information should be public because you're actively affecting the ability for the government to get get funds to help the citizens of the United States so if you if you're if you're saying you're a nonprofit organization, you should be under scrutiny and it should be public and fuck that. Yeah. So what we're doing now, team, is uh, on Twitter right now. I have a tweet. Uh, YouTuber at Slice Sparkane is being targeted with false YouTube privacy and copyright complaints by FE Core users like at Jaronism, a member of FE Core, are now trying to silence Sly for criticism. Spam this to at Team YouTube. Their system is being abused right now because of this uh, this hangout. We're up to 112 retweets, 104 likes. We're not just retweeting this to at Team YouTube though; they're the main people. But we're also retweeting this to like Philly D, uh, Tim Pool, and whoever yeah. else that has you know some some push to get YouTube to actually acknowledge that this shit is going on. Because if they do, there is a potential for YouTube to um kind of put the screws to them because there used to be a user by the name of ventral flame that was abusing their system and epicore is abusing youtube system what yeah. youtube did was they filed a suit against him for abusing their system so not only could we potentially get sly sparking's uh, channel back to good standing but we also have a chance of taking all of Epi Core out. Somebody hey, uh, pointed out, step away from the screen, said uh, they have confused nonprofit with not worth a fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but um, has anybody has anybody pointed them out to the proper uh, to the proper authorities regarding nonprofits? Oh yes. Um, I mean, all you have to do is just send those guys an email. They'll do the rest. You don't have to provide them any evidence or anything like that. They live for this shit. Uh, Sean, did did you uh, do something like that? Oh yeah, I filed with the IRS and the and Secretary of State. There we go. All right, guys, many, I many have to head out. It's almost here. midnight. Um, so, sounds, sounds, like being, sounds like you're being a pussy, man. Sounds like you're being a pussy. You're uh, not in it for the cause. Yeah, sorry, I have to sleep. Yeah, didn't you sleep last year? I did. Then, I sleep, is, sleep is required every day. You should know this. I, I just woke you up. It, you wouldn't be as fucking ugly. I just woke up and it's totally worth it. Go go do it, Gio. <laughs> okay, any, anyway, seriously, I gotta head out. So see you. Have a good and night. have fun with dismantling them more. Okay, so let's see. Uh, uh, 
for five not zero dollars, we have uh, A Reds. Can you just state once and for all that New Zealand is the best country in the world? Totally related to the current discourse. That's the one they keep forgetting to put on maps. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder That's why. That's so keep, funny. I wonder why they keep forgetting. The uh, that one country that's so forgettable. Somebody Which asked, such a, that. Somebody if anybody, <laughs> exactly. Somebody it's asked, okay. It's okay. New Zealand Rocket Lab will make sure you guys are on the map. There you somebody go. Somebody asked a, good, uh, a decent question. They said, uh, "Is it worth adding the hashtag Fair Tube into the mix?" Uh, sure. Use. Uh, here's the thing. Use whatever hashtag will will get this shit noticed. I don't hashtag care. Hashtag Beaver. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, send it to at real Donald no, no, Trump. No, we I mean, want it to be noticed, <laughs> Brainy. We don't want people to run away. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, sticky uh, beaver, then. I got it. This has nothing to do with the shape of the earth. This has to be do with ethics involved with YouTube's policies and they're being a abused. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, so, I wouldn't support a globe earth for doing this. So No, no, I wouldn't I'd support say, anyone uh, doing this at all. No, this is exactly. this is bullshit. This is this is trying to attack somebody's fucking uh, ability to create, to be creative, and that is fucking nonsense. Freedom of speech should be free. Well, like, I just Here, saw your thing bit. that's got fucking Talladega Nights in it. Here's the funniest bit that you missed, team. Um, <laughs> Anthony was on Nathan's show bragging about how Sly's channel was about to be dead, and Nathan. Didn't know any of the story about what was actually going on. He just knew that there was an argument between Effie Core and Sly, but didn't know what was all, actually all going on. So he asked Anthony what's going on. Anthony says he didn't know the detail or the ins and outs. Um, he just knows that his channel is going to be deleted. Nathan actually stuck up for Sly. Of all people, Nathan stuck with Sly. And Anthony was speechless. It was absolute gold. I want that clip. I actually want to make a video about it because it was funny as fuck. <laughs> It actually well, struck Anthony speechless. Yeah. And anybody that anybody that doesn't stand up for for Sly is going to look really fucking bad because this better. means you're against fucking freedom of speech. I wouldn't fucking be. I would not be standing up for Sly or standing up for Fe Core if I was a fucking flat earther. I would be keeping my mouth real quiet before something like that happened to me because I don't give a fuck. Their their pull is nothing like ours. You want to get yeah. somebody fucking fucking taken down? That we're not the ones to be fucking with. And Sly's a part of us. Don't fuck with us. We will take your entire fucking friends down. What? Why do you think Team Cunt has now been summoned? It's because of bullshit like this. Here's the thing. Uh, I wouldn't support uh, somebody who's on who's on my side going after them in this way. I wouldn't. Um, but they don't exactly see it that way. They they see this as a perfectly Valid response to Sly Sparkane basically taking their bullshit and ramming it up their ass. So, there, oh, that's if that's a game you want to play, then okay, motherfucker, you asked for it. So, Team YouTube is going to be retweeted. Billy D's going to be retweeted. You know, whatever, whatever we have to do to get this out, we will get this out. Sly Sparkane is not going to be losing his channel. If he does, it's only going to be temporary. Who's actually going to be the one who's going to be eating shit is going to be everyone who is involved with FE Core. And that includes Bob, and that includes Jaronism. And if I know anything about the size of their channels, they have a lot more to lose than Sly Sparkane does. Uh, FairTube is an organization to get YouTube to let um, to let us know what the rules actually are. It's a European-based, but successful. It could spread across the Earth. So, Doggo. Doggo. So going going by the notifications, that was uh, two team YouTube, and again, they're we're being retweeted left, right, and center, which is fucking awesome. Thanks, guys. We're up to 117 retweets, 110 likes, and m most of it was going to at team YouTube. At team YouTube is always active, apparently, so they um, will eventually see it. It's looking like their turnaround for getting to replies is about five hours right now. Yes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, continuously bombard the shit out of them for the next five hours. Because why yeah, the fuck right. not? I'm looking at, uh, at the, and also, also, retweeting it to other uh, influencers out there would also help. And 
And also in a complete, in complete unrelated news, uh, SpaceX uh, Starship prototype 150 meter hop is at six minutes away, according to Astronomy Live. Well, I will be watching the replay, but I will be doing this, unfortunately. Um, it's unfortunate because it's FE Court that's causing this shit, but it has to be done because this is one of my friends. Don't fuck with my shit. And a good member of the community, man. I mean, this he's pretty fucking nice to people. There's a lot of other people like myself who's a lot more fucking abrasive and, and like, demeaning than Sly. Like me. Sly. Yeah, Sly fucking is a good dude, man. Fuck. Oh, it gets worse because well, Anthony, him, Anthony, right? Anthony, Anthony, Anthony let the bean slip today that um, Effie Core is not just stopping with Sly. They're going after all of Sly's friends, too. Come mm -hmm. after me, bitch. Come yep, after so, me. Yep, so team that. Yeah, that they, they've got to make their way down to Dallas. Dallas they, they, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Red. I'm sorry. No, that I'm would make Sean Hufford a target. That would make you a, ta a target, Team Skeptic. That would make me a target. Oh, man, I've got that one video on my channel about chemtrails. Oh, no. <laughs> they're going to they're, they're gonna try and fuck over as many people as possible. And unfortunately, they're fucking with the wrong people. Again, this is one of those things where we have a really strong community and a lot of people who are willing to scream this shit at YouTube. It is not going to work, motherfuckers. It's not going to work. So we'll get Sly, uh, Slice Arcane's channel back in good standing. Uh, we will also make sure that they are slammed by YouTube because of this. They fucked up. Now, here's the thing. I don't know uh, what Sly would do in this situation, but I'll tell you what I would do in this situation. Um, I'm more than happy to actually let it slip, let this one go. But they're going to have to undo the damage that they did with YouTube. They're going to have to retract all their claims. I don't know if they can do that, but they're going to have to start. And they're going to have to make a groveling apology. Groveling apology. And if they don't, and if they fucking don't, then put the screws to them. And I'm can not we... talking about a groveling apology by Mike. I want a groveling apology from all of them. Yeah, they're going to have to do at least do a written, uh, signed apology letter, kind of like the ACA had to do. Can we mm -hmm. say that it's not it's not an official unless they use the word cunt at least five fucking times in their apology letter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, hi, Ian. I, hi, Brian. So, uh, so with that being said, that's that's where we're at. That's where we're at. But that's what I'm what I would do if I was Slice Barcane. Now Slice Barcane may just say, no, fuck them. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws to them. Well, if that's the case, so be it. Let's do it. Somebody just so you know, I, I don't know who this person is. Somebody sent me an email with Bob Nodell's information from his FCC amateur license. FCC well, amateur license? It's well, public it record. It is for his ham radio license. Um, I, I don't I, know. I'm not trying to give it out, but well, I've, I've had that it. since he did his balloon launch because he actually published. He actually posted publicly on his video his um, ham number, and with the use of that ham number, I was actually to find out not only his house but what room he actually holds his computer in in his house because his cell phone was still tied to that ham license number. Oh, how do you, how do you oh. do that? Was it GPS at all of a sudden? Well, yeah, because he had it all tied with his ham. He had all these tracking devices tied to his ham license. Holy shit! And he did. He did this himself. So finding his docs was fucking easy. Have I released any of it? Absolutely what? not. Will I? Never. So no. you know exactly which window he does his bullshit from. Yes, unless he's rearranged his house. <laughs> because you can like smell the bullshit coming from that window too. But, but this is how stupid this supposed engineer is is he tied his cell phone to his fucking ham license with tracking turned on. And he expects to not get doxxed. I, I don't even know how any of that works. Like, I don't know how it sends, like, so the phone is then sending its its location information to the to the ham system? Yes. He's doing the same, like, oh, hey, I tweeted on Facebook and I turned location on. Don't get me wrong. When I took those pictures in my last video and I took uh, images with the GPS showing the moon and the sun rising and setting north of east and west um because he's an idiot 
uh, Thrive and Survive. He uh, that one I had to take uh, I had to take photo editor and actually take out my uh, like it had my freaking longitude and latitude and everything on it. I'm like, well, even if I reach the town, it basically is telling them where my backyard is, <laughs> like where oh, I took the shot from. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, somebody me. just tweeted out. I searched the IRS or not tweeted. Somebody said in the live chat. I searched the IRS database for 501c3 businesses. FE Corp isn't returning. Yes, uh, and I, here, you're, you're uh, kicking uh, on that. Hang, you're on, kicking hang, on. On that. hang on, everyone, shut the fuck up. I just got a uh, a message from Sly saying you're still around. Uh, Jared, can you please uh, tell him that this is a thing? Jared went to get food. He might not be here. Go send him a link. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I want to go ahead and read one at Red Rag. As an honorary member of Team Cunt, I was there to help Bull. I'm going to help Sean, and I'm going to help with this. Thank you so uh, much. Sweetheart, who was it? Let's see. Let me grab this. Grab that. I'm sorry. Uh, it was uh, uh, Slick X six six six. Oh, was Slick. Slick, we love you. Uh, Sky Sky Dog. I actually didn't get his address from his license. I got his address because he had his tracking turned on. And I used Google Street View. It was, that, it was that fucking simple. Listen, he's a he's a he's a smart one. Yes. Don't forget like and you know sub for whatever. But, yes, but, but, yes, but like and share. A, Liking and sharing is the most important thing right now. But yes, if you have a ham license, it is matter of public record. And if also you, if you're a non profit. If no, that, this has nothing to do with non profit or not. If you have a ham license to operate a ham radio, that license is public record. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that like everything that they're doing is public anyway. Well, supposed okay. to be, but you don't think so. I have uh, given Sly Sparkane the link to join. So, Jared, if you're still there, um, allow him to come on <laughs> in if you can. And Ozzy Globehead for fifty dollars because he can. Thank you so much, dude. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy Globehead. Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> Looking at this. Thank you so much, Ozzy Globehead. You are an awesome person. And uh, Slick X six six six. Yes, no problem. You're good for the spanner. Let's see. All right. Jared, uh, right? Hey, Jared um, away, right? Um, yeah. two hours on response time right now. All right. Two hours, two hours out. Let's see if they uh, see if they hit us up. I did. I did. I just got another message from Slice Barkane. He said he'll be here in a moment, so that's good. Now we can hear it from him. Exactly the type of bullshit that's happening on his channel. <laughs> oh, and, and just to be clear. Um, Mike Cavanaugh is issuing privacy complaints against everybody who mirrors Sly's original video. <laughs> hey, Red, oh, is that wait. something you don't want to see, or are you okay with me leaving send that there it, for a minute? Send it to me. Put it on my channel. Oh, Red, if you actually leave this on your channel, I'm going to invite everybody who's gotten a privacy complaint against or from Effie Core about mirroring Sly's video to let us know in the comment section so you two can come here and actually see who all is being falsely flagged by Mike yeah. Cavanaugh. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Red, are you seeing uh, what's what I'm sharing here for you? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Dinosaur. yeah. That's the uh, SpaceX Star Hopper. Yeah, you can leave it there. It's T minus forty five seconds. Sweet. So we can watch the Star Hopper while we're waiting for Slice Martin to come on in. Look, and, obviously uh, that landing pad is obviously flat, guys. You see, there, it does, if it was a globe, it would be circular. It would be curving around the curve of the globe. That little ass landing pad, it's flat. Sorry. Why am I getting it? Why am I getting that? Here we go. Look, you see that? All right, Slice Parkane should be coming in here any moment now. So just keep an eye out for him. I did a zoom in on Kerbal Space Program, and it's clearly flat on Kerbal Space Program before you zoom out too. Yeah, how did you do such great CGI, Brainy? I, mean, I know. This is amazing right? work right here. <laughs> yeah, this is so Cape Fear right here, everybody. <laughs> it looks so fucking real. There you go. One second. Oh, plus. Ooh. Really get up. And Starhopper is hopping. Oh, my God. Where's the cows? <laughs> oh, no. There's no cows. 
Fuck. NASA forgot yeah. to put the fucking stars in the sky too in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Miller, just a little help for the Sly Legal Fund. Thank you so much, Thomas Miller. Hey, Thank you so Thomas, much. My executive uh, medical producer. <laughs> I'm giving. I think I'm gonna give Ozzy Globehead my upside upside down uh, vertical vertical adjustment producer. Uh, Coming that's, in. That's nice. That's nice. One thing I like about the Raptor engine is that you can actually see the shock diamonds. That's awesome. Successful test. It touched down. I didn't hear a boom. Legal Information Institute misrepresentations. Any person who knowingly materially misrepresents under this section, one, that material or activity is infringing, or two, that material or activity was removed or disabled by mistake or misidentification, shall be liable for any damages, including costs and attorney fees incurred by the alleged infringer by any copyright owner or copyright owner's authorized licensee, or Red. by the service provider Sorry. who is by such misrepresentation as the result of the service provider relying upon such misrepresentation in removing or disabling access to the material or activity claims to be infringing or in replace or in replacing the removed material or ceasing to disable access to it. Just to let you know, Chesh, you gotta shorten your little um, boom mic so every time you play with it you keep cutting out. <laughs> hey uh, how big is that uh like just in reference, I can't. It's quite large, isn't it, compared to the base of a Falcon Nine, even? Yeah, yeah. The Raptor engine is is a bigger engine. Oh, there's a fire hose. I'm doing my best. I'm on my laptop. My computer is. No, it's, still it's not. Out. Is that okay? <laughs> okay, I want you to act like you're eating your mic, and just before you bite down on it, just leave it there. Uh -huh. See, much better. I apologize. I'm on my laptop. All Hi, right. Sly. Hey, Sly. There you go. It's already offline, too, so you got to see it. It's got, it mutes you by default if there's more than four people in here. Yeah, so Sly Sparkane, let us know that you're alive. Do not remind me of my unhappy childhood. You have to unmute, though. Unmute. Because fuck FE Core. $6.66. Because because I'll be I'll be back in a minute. Thank you so much, NA. &A. Uh, it says that he can't unmute. The fuck? No, no. Oh, uh, move that's cursor. weird. Move your cursor <laughs> around <laughs> and then slide. He's touching, he's slide. The if, if you're on your phone, because the camera came on, so I'm assuming you are. There is an <laughs> unmute button down at the lower part of the screen. Michael Gallagher also for six dollars and sixty six cents for Sly's legal fund. A lot of six six sixes. I love this shit. Six six. All right. Uh, he's gonna rejoin and hey, okay, and back to that. There it is. Now, All right, now you hear me. Hey, hi. Hey, there you are. What's going on, guys? Hey, beautiful. So here's what we got for you, Sly. Um, as of right now, we are currently. Uh, blowing the living shit out of uh, Team YouTube's Twitter. And right now we're okay. up to 121 retweets at Team YouTube. We're also uh, retweeting this to other uh, influencers who can get some attention brought to this because this is objective bullshit what Epicor is doing to you. I totally agree. Yep, so... I've been fucking, I, I've been fucking dealing with this shit for the last three days and it's driving me... Uh, well, it's not driving go unchallenged. And, you know, it's guilty until pro proven innocent. And uh, what do you call it? Or, excuse me, guilty till not proven innocent. And uh, and it's it's drive it that drives me nuts. Um, it's not so much that, you know, I got a bunch of butter, flat earthers and shit like that. And Mike Cavanaugh and all these bitches. Um, it's not so much that they're, uh, they're giving me shit <laughs> as if that bothered me. The part is, is that I cannot, at least via YouTube, uh, defend the claims that are being made against me. And the answer I got back, I don't know if you saw the video, Red, but uh, the answer I got back was, uh, well, you know, we can't review it anymore because the video has been taken down. Well, no shit, dumbass. 
Nope. No, the privacy they, uh, complaint. got yanked. Privacy complaint got yanked for privacy, which was invalid. The wow. other one has a copyright strike. Right. The uh, the the one that uh, got yanked for privacy was uh, was this is Fe Core, uh, and that was the one that uh, that apparently it was uh, against the rules for me to show their public about us page. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, what do you call it? And then I got the uh, the the copyright strike on the Fe Core Camp Laser. Um, now the thumbnail that I saw that they used on that was because I showed their their publicly published results uh, from their laser test. Well, That's I for one right am thing. incredibly impressed with the way you've been handling this. That's yeah, all in good fun. <laughs> and not for them, it's not. No, because they oh. fucked themselves. Now, uh, Sly, have you heard about um, the fact that YouTube is actually uh, suing people who uh, abuse their system? I have heard, uh, should I say, side remarks from that, you know, shithouse lawyers and stuff. But, uh, you know, I mean, nobody, uh, nothing that I've, I've actually seen as solid. Okay, this well, is kind of, this is disconcerting. Um, they're now replying to tweets that they got 36 minutes ago within the last couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah so but well, this is, well, this is what, what we do. What we do is um, we write to them. They don't respond. We write them some more. They don't respond. We bombard the ever living fucking shit out of them so that they can't go to sleep at night without hearing that phone or whatever the fuck they're they're replying with, blowing the fuck up and saying, "Wow, this shit, we're we're fucking up with this. Team cunt is on our asses. We need to respond to this." <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if anything, guys, I, I'm gonna say this out loud. I, I appreciate the help. Sean told me that uh, that he was gonna he was gonna contact you and uh what do you call it and so I, I do appreciate the help i mean sincerely the uh what do you call it but the other side of it is is you know and <laughs> i wanted to say this to sean personally but <clears throat> we were uh we were in text uh last night um because i i have I, I'm, I have night shifts so right now i'm i'm actually sitting out in the middle of a uh, uh department store parking lot because i get the best signal here because i'm on technically on my lunch break um but the uh, um, the whole thing about them taking down the first video, the first thing that I wanted to do is, if I've learned anything uh, in my life uh, with dealing with larger organizations, you know, I mean, YouTube's got like billions of shit, and uh, what do you call it? So it's it's you know, I, I I'm just a little 5K channel, blah blah blah, and uh, but because of because I do understand that I don't have some dude with a visor and a banker light. Uh, you know, reviewing my case and all this. The only thing that you can do, the first thing you have to do in order to be a victim is to be a victim. And so I had to let that uh, play out and have them nuke that one video. Now, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting the second one. That one kind of hit me funny. But uh, what do you call it? But I had to let them nuke that video um, before I can actually, because if, if, if I would have thwarted that off in some way, then this would have just kind of fizzled out into nothing, and FE Core would still do what FE Core does. Um, however, showing that actual action was taken against me um, is a much more clear display of them uh, 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 of the malicious nature in which they are conducting. Oh yeah, they're going after you. This is targeted harassment. They're going after you specifically. Yes. Oh yeah, and but. But you see, me just saying that would just be, you know, Sly's just bitching about what fucking FE Core is doing. But to actual actually see that things, you know, are actually occurring, that has greater value, at least in that argument. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's that whole thing of, you know, you remember prior to September 11th and stuff like that, they were talking about more uh, security for pilots and aircraft and Senators were saying no because they had interests in the uh, airline industry and shit like that. But then after S September 11th, they're all just like, "Oh, well, you know, we should actually get more security on the doors of the car or uh, of the of the plane and shit like that." I mean, it goes along that same line. It's all reactionary, and so my whole thing is, uh, what do you, you call this buff, if, right? He was like, "Yo, look at my shit," and you were like, "All right." Well, well, what you did, well, Sly. I, 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 
was you gave them you gave them the rope to hang themselves with because now we have everything we need and we have everything we need from Effie Core. We can show all of this to YouTube if YouTube will actually look at it. So that's what mm -hmm. Hangout is. It's pointing out uh, your video and your video to YouTube so that an actual fucking human can look at it. And if if an actual human looks at it, they will see the bullshit. And they will also see the people who are responsible for the bullshit because you got hit by not just uh, Mike, you got hit by all of the members of Epi Core. Right. Under the orders of Mike, per his own words. Exactly. And uh, and here's here's another thing. Gio brought up this neat little point uh, sometime uh, earlier this afternoon. Uh, he had showed uh, some some. It, it was one of the Globusters episodes and shit, and uh, and it had them using the uh, uh, the Fe Core uh, logo. And that's something that's going into my uh, my re-release of uh, uh, this is Fe Core. And uh, the funny thing is, is that you know they they he 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 has to Mike has to stand on the principle of they are not a flat Earth organization. He has to do that for legal reasons. He has to do that. However, all I have to do is point out that well, wait a minute. You know, your logo and your name are being used on you know, uh, flat earth channels and you're not going against them, you know, and which would have to be, you know, as far as a legal sense, it would have to be a, uh, a, a monstrous thing, uh, totally against their, their, their channel or, uh, excuse me, their organization and, uh, more so than me. So, you know, that, that's, that's my, my thought process right now. And, uh, Sean did tell me that uh, uh, to get everything to you, Red, um, as far as um, copies of the emails and shit like that, which I am actually producing. The uh, the first thing that I had to do, though, before I left for work was I took uh, – I have – obviously, you know, I mean, this is my content. So, you know, I, I uploaded the entire uh, This Is FE4 video, uh, the actual MP4, to a Google Drive. And, uh, but unfortunately it was not done uploading before I left. Um, so in a couple hours when I go home, uh, the PDF that I'm making right now with all the email addresses in it and the sequence of events and, uh, and all the, uh, the emails that were sent to me and, oh my God, they're fucking childish. Um, the, all that's going to be put into that drive and then I'll make that available to all you guys to, uh, to, you know, just fucking flood the shit out of this or whatever, uh, route you're taking it right now. Because this is, it, ultimately it's just fucking stupid. Yeah, it is. And, and, and like I said, I had to, I had to give them that victory. You know, I mean, I could have used the blur tool because you see the other two videos are still up. Um, those two other live hangouts that I did, they're still up because I applied the blur tool. Therefore, according to YouTube, um, you know, I complied, whatever. And, uh, I did that just to see, you know, see if that works, um, which was a recommendation from Sean. And, uh, but I couldn't do it with the first one. I had to let that actually get tanked, um, to show that there's action being taken against me, which is false. Yeah, and, uh, correct. But the, but the cool part is, like said, that, yeah. there's there's a threat that not only they're going to do this to you or going to continue to do this to you, I should say, but they're going to do it to all of your friends. So everyone is apparently a target who has even said anything about FB4 or it will escalate or supposedly docs. In, in, in which case, all my videos against Jaronism are fair game to them. Yeah, it, it will escalate yeah. because if they get away with it once, they're going to get away with it more and they're going to keep doing it and well, you see, that, forever. That, 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 is actually the, that is actually the beauty of this, and that is, you know, give them enough rope. Um, what do you call it? And it was very apparent right after my video got dropped in the tone of Mike Cavanaugh and emails that he was uh, arrogantly giddy about the fact that, you know, he got me even though I let him get me and uh, what do you call it? So the cool part about this is, is that he feels emboldened now. You baited him. He feels pretty much untouchable. Get baited. So, you baited. Yeah. So it's, uh, 
like I said, sometimes, you know, it, it, it's not so much the battles, it's the war. And, uh, what do you call it? And I don't, uh, I, you know, if I lost a video, oh my God, I lost a video, you know, hurt me, motherfucker. But the, yeah. uh, um, like I said, the, I had warned Mike in an email. I said, look, you know, <laughs> if, if I have to release a redacted version of this, it will not go well for you. And, uh, what do you call it? Which he obviously, you know, did not, uh, take seriously. Um, the redacted version that is coming out, um, what do you call it? like I said, in a couple of days, because right now I got shift all week, um, was not going to leave them alone anymore. Um, and like I said, I did write um, to the uh, uh, to the Secretary of State of Indiana. Uh, I did submit uh, the 13909 to the IRS. Um, you know, I mean, those were not blank threats. I don't just kind of say shit to say it. Um, those messages are out there and I'm actually this evening, I'm going to write, uh, one more to the, uh, secretary of state of Indiana. Um, because in that first, uh, email, there was a link to that video. This is FE core. Now, obviously it's going to come back now. It's going to say that this was dropped due to privacy, um, because that's the message that comes up. So what I'm actually going to be doing is, uh, uh I'm going to give a copy to that, uh, Google drive. Uh, once I have all the information in it and uh, and just let them know, hey, my stuff was taken down by these individuals. Here's the reason why, um, you know, and this is going on in your state under your uh, uh, your cabinet. So and uh, see what they do with that, because, I mean, you know, it's bullshit. And don't get me wrong. If Mike Cavanaugh was standing in front of me right now, I'd probably knock his teeth out the back of his head. Um, <laughs> but. At the same time, that brings nothing in this particular fight. No, no. What, what you did was was the right thing, and I think it's 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 amazing. Here's here's what's happening. Uh, you you basically rolled out the red carpet for him to walk down basically the carpet of his own shit, and mm -hmm. he went ahead and walked down it. In doing so, he fucked himself because now he's given us the ammunition, the ammunition we need to make our fucking point. And the point is right. very simple. When their shit gets called out, they will go ahead and use these types of tactics to silence and censor. But these yep. tactics are against YouTube's policy. And if YouTube were to get wind of it, then the worst that happened to you was that they, you lost the video. But the worst that can happen to them is a lot worse because they yep. have a lot more to lose. I mean, no offense to your channel, we have, what, 6,000 subs? Uh, Jaronism has over 100,000. Globusters has, what, over 40,000, 50,000, somewhere around there. They have a lot more to lose. Uh -huh. And given the fact that FE Core has all of their members listed, and given the fact yep. that the complaints are attached to their emails, not only could uh -huh. this fuck over FE Core, but it can fuck over their other channels as well, since they are, since they are involved in it. Yep. The whole point is getting YouTube to look at it, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. So all the team cunts is on it. So as of right now, or is this the last time, we actually have uh, 15 more retweets. We're up to 127 retweets that team YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of the thing. We, you have to just bombard them to overflow the bot. You gotta, you gotta push it to get it past the bot. And once it's past the bot, this is a, this is an open and shut case. Clearly, Sly played the fuck out of them. Like a goddamn <laughs> fiddle. I, for one, am impressed. And I'm not easy to impress when it comes to this kind of shit. So, well done. And with Team Cunt on this, this is a non, this is gonna be a non-issue. This is gonna be over in a week. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, by getting... the way, Cheshire, hold on, Cheshire, mm. um, from one artist to another, well, that was odd. <laughs> the dogs sometimes go ape shit. Right, my dog got a little bit excited there. Hey, guys. Yeah, the dogs get excited for no fucking reason whatsoever. But, um, one gets well, upset, then the other one my, gets upset. My dog trip. does that too. My dog does that too. She just like out of nowhere starts barking the shit out of things. I apologize. But, what were uh, you saying? 
Well, anyway, after that, uh, after that let, me, let me do this. Let me do this. So the point here is that they have what you've done is you've allowed FE Core to give us everything we need. Now it's just a matter of getting YouTube to see it. And that's what this hangout is about. And Team Cunt has been very responsive. Let's just say that. And it's <laughs> working out in our favor. So um, they basically pissed off a lot of people. They pissed off you. They pissed off Sean. They pissed off Jared. And they pissed off me. Pay attention to your Twitter, Sly. Pay attention to your King Twitter. Because if they at you, you need to respond to that shit. All right. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that, man. But anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by Red. Um, <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> Reds, what the no, fuck? Actually, I just wanted to let you know that uh, there's a possibility that I'm uh, that I might have a large touch screen that you could use. Uh, As uh, in uh, 24 inches. Uh, 24. You're talking to a three what? foot tall woman. You say 24 inches and intimidates her. Oh, it's so big. Sorry, Reggie. Wait, wait, wait. Say, okay, hey, well, that satisfied me for the hey, night. Hey, no, 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 no. We don't have a clear. You didn't have a clear uh, 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 clip of that. Uh, Cheshire, could you say that one more time? Oh, it's so big. See, now he's going to play that whenever he masturbates. That's fine. Hey, as long as you pay me for it. No, but, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you and I will get together about that. Uh, I'll just, like, hit you up on your channel or something about it. Oh, hell but, yeah, you uh, find me there. I, I or might you, have... you have a Twitter, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try and hit you on, on, on one of them, but uh, I, might have, I, I might have the ability to, uh, uh, to just basically free that up their shit laying around and uh it, it would probably actually get delivered directly from new egg so <gasps> the, uh, i would lose my mind if that were a thing that happened we just need yeah. like i said i just want i just want to let you know because i because i actually do admire your your digital work and uh oh, thank you so much you i i have I, I have a degree in commercial arts that's not something that i keep on bullshitting about i actually do have a degree in that and uh what do you call it even though i work in communications but uh the uh so and i figured if anybody could use that you could because i got two of them at my house so <laughs> oh my god yeah hit me up that'd be amazing, that'd be amazing. i'm still waiting on uh, a replacement cord so replacement cord yeah my uh i have uh i have a wacom tablet and the cord yeah. decided to eat shit and well, it's help. a propri it's a proprietary cord, right? So right. I can't replace, I, and I it's only the HDMI, up, yeah. yeah, and only the HDMI went on it. But I have to buy a whole new triple set cord. So Jim Majors was kind enough to send me one, but it was supposed to show up the 14th. It got pushed back to the 21st, and what are we on now? The 27th, and I still haven't seen it. So I don't know. Who are you dealing with? YouTube? <laughs> yeah, right. Was this the like <laughs> thing you said you were waiting for? Hey, let me let me ask you guys something because this may be completely unrelated, okay? But at the same time, it may not. Um, I just received an email from YouTube from my personal account, okay? So, y'all know that back in the day when I got docs, people linked my personal account, which was also a music account from back in the day with me. They actually tied those two together. Today, I received an age rest restriction guideline on one of those videos. Now, I've, the videos were posted 10 years ago. Okay. And it's a An music age video. Restriction? It's a music video wow. with just my, fa just my face on it. I guess at the end, I, I maybe I have a bunch of strippers doing some dances. But, yeah, that so, would but at the same time, yeah, at the same time, it's gone 10 years. It's, it's, oh, I'll, yeah, we, we need the link. I'll, man. I'll share this video. Hold on. It's actually a pretty, it's one of my better songs. <laughs> So we're gonna talk tonight before Christmas. <laughs> Shut up, dickhead. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe it's I'm blue. I can see. I can see team playing a good Jack Skellington. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah! Is he tall enough? Jack is a gang uh, no, tall ass gangly not, motherfucker. I'm not that I'm not tall enough to be that guy. Hold on one second. Let me 
Well, see, it, it, that goes back to scaling because, you know, he, he might not be tall, but he oh. is incredibly skinny. You know, it's sort of like saying that you're a human when you stand next to red. It just doesn't comply. This is the only <laughs> video. I mean, if you're referring to me, I don't comply as a human anyway. So <laughs> the scale this is, is the, entirely different. This is the only <laughs> video on that channel, guys. The only one. Hold on. Now I'm posting you guys the uh, the link in the internal chat. All right. That's weird, though, right? I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it's just a coincidence. But this that's an video awful... may be inappropriate for some from some viewers. Th th I mean, that may be just a coincidence. I'm not trying to link the two, but that is a weird coincidence if it is, right? I'll just say that you had skin, you had some flesh on your bones at that point. What happened? Where? <laughs> hold on, let me pull my picture up. I'm looking at the picture on the damn icon. You had flesh oh, on your. I drank. I drank a lot during that time. You didn't look like Skeletor, man. What's up? Well, I was partying a lot and I drank a lot, so I was a little bit fatter. But I was only about maybe ten or fifteen pounds more than I am right now. I feel bad about the meth addict joke. Oh it, well, don't don't feel bad because okay, first off, I've never done that in my life, so it doesn't. I'm kidding, of course. Time. Well, yeah, I know, but but it, but it, but at the same time, it doesn't bother me if somebody says that, you know. First off, yeah. I've, I've had a lot of haters make videos. Daniel Pratt's made a few videos about me going on camera. Uh, Validation Boys made a couple of videos. None of them bother me. I mean, they've called me a crackhead. They've called me a meth addict. They've called me whatever they want to call me. I call them idiots. That's all right. They, did, they didn't call me very many things when I got on to uh, uh, when I was uh, on camera because I flipped them all off. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm a bit skinny. You know, and uh, and I eat a lot, but I am a bit skinny. Um, so that's what the, where they come. And then Sean, of course, is just like calling me the second coming of Morgyle and all this. <laughs> yeah, I, I can. I can He's looking pretty I sketch think, these days, that guy. I can I clearly think, see why you have that age prediction, sir. No, I think team tattoos are hot. So there you go. Team Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sly. <laughs> Fucking. I'm actually I, just I, talking out my ass right now because I can't no, even see hey, any of this. I'm on my phone. Sly, it's totally cool because you're actually nailing it. Um, there were so many fucking Gollum <laughs> jokes that came through that you're like, without seeing me and just being able to throw that out there, that's fucking amazing. I feel like this is a little bullshit since Team showed himself, Sean's showed himself, the rest of you haven't showed yourself, and I'm the only one currently on yeah, camera. I, have. Hey, I, I, I don't have. want to get I don't want to make this one age. Well restricted. actually tec <laughs> technically I'm I'm on camera. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no. You're not semantic your yeah. way out of this. Yeah. It's not Ch happening. Chesh, you're forgetting during the actual mm -hmm. initial charity stream, I did go on camera. You did, yeah. that's right, but you did. But I can't go on camera right now. Myself a better camera, so I don't look so more guilish on here. Um, I have there. It, it, it's and it like the shadow had like a yellowish brown sh color to it, and I was like, "Why is that happening? Why are all my shadows got this weird color to it?" And it's what happens when you're transparent, man. That's exactly what it is. That's what people were like. Please don't stand sideways because you're not wide enough for light to interact with. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I want to give an update. As of right now, we're up to 131 retweets. If we get to 133, a flat earther automatically gets triggered. So get us two more retweets. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, but I will admit, my Sparkane, they they fuck with you, and when they fuck with you, they're fucking with Team Cunt because you are a member of Team Cunt, and don't don't fuck with the cunt. When they fuck with one of us, I, I, they fuck with all of us. Yes. You fuck with the I'm cunt, you get cunt my punched. Card. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, worse than the dick punch? A box? Have you, oh, have you ever... Mm. <laughs> huh. What? Dick in a box? What? So, okay. <laughs> if, anybody's, if anybody's curious, you can, in fact, do a girl. <laughs> however, it's called a box slap. And it's called box slap because you don't you you flick your wrist and you flick your wrist and you try and aim with one or two fingers to try and just right in the fucking center. Motherfucker, does that hurt? 
the, I'll try that. The, the methodology is not that much different than what no happens. it's not it's not different it's just a, it's just a smaller really just like how like whether or not it's I, an innie or an Audi. I, I was referring to uh effie core and Kevin riley and <laughs> oh, no, no 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 listen it's it's insulting to call them cunts to be honest this is team cunt here not over there <laughs> no All they're right, just well, being cuntish and <laughs> ladies and gents i got i got a, i got a roll here um what do you call it but I do appreciate all the support, and like I said, uh, Reds, I will get uh, you and Sean and and uh, Jared uh, the link to uh, the Google Drive as soon as I can. Uh, like I said, I, I don't get home till about uh, about 8 a.m. my time, so uh, what do you call it? I'll make sure that I get that as soon as I uh, uh, as soon as I get home, and I'll make sure you guys get that link. Uh, perfect, perfect. Just send it, send it over when we can. We'll make sure that it gets the team yeah, YouTube. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you call it? And I'll make sure that I, Hi, cats. Uh, uh, like I said, because the whole video is up in there, and uh, it's going to have the email chain and uh, all this other bullshit. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. Too bad uh, they were too arrogant to realize what was happening to them. But, uh, <laughs> but to, to, to let you in on uh, the last exchange that was between Mike and I, Mike uh, Mike wrote me a thing. Armstrong. He wrote me an, e an email. That says Armstrong's last uh, or famous words, and they said four steps for me, one step for mankind, or something like that. And I turned around and I wrote him back. I said Daffy's famous words: duck season. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, now the, those those who know the cartoon knows exactly what happens when Daffy says duck season. But um, anyway, um. I appreciate everybody's help, and uh, and like I said, I'll, I'll be getting back to you. Uh, Chat's reminding soon. you to All keep right? an eye on Twitter. Okay, I'll keep an eye on Twitter. <laughs> yep, keep an eye on Twitters because if if that YouTube gets you, you got to respond to that shit immediately. <clears throat> All, right. All right. So I Sounds appreciate good. it, guys. I really do. All right, peace out, man. I'll All right. Us. And so now that we have the Sparkane in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping this up. I think we got the word out. I'm also going to leave this uh, hanged in the description. And we're going to go ahead and start uh, wrapping this up. Uh, Fair H2, does, that sound, uh, like. does that sound good? It, Subscribe. Um, ready when you are. So. All right. Let's go ahead and go down the list. We're going to start with... Uh, Team Skeptic, say what you guys say and get the fuck out. All right. Well, um, we're slowly, slowly, quickly coming upon my 20,000 subscriber mark. Holy uh, shit. Yes, 19,400 something right now. And it's been amazing. Thank you, Reds, for all your support, man, because uh, you've been fucking around since like I had like a thousand subscribers and you were in my live stream and everybody was like, oh, look, Reds follows him. Oh, and then you start inviting me on here. And then all of a sudden I got a whole bunch of fucking subscribers. Now my phone's ringing, but fuck my phone. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> oh, 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 it's my son. Hold on. Really? Fuck. Fuck my phone. Thank you, Reds. All, all right. right let me tell him. Yeah. Bye. I'll let you guys later. Good timing. All right. Next, we're going to have Brainy Beaver. Say what you guys say and get the fuck out. Uh, okay, I'm not muted. Good. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm glad we didn't get on to some serious topics here. I feel a little shell shocked today. We're not gonna. We'll go into that another time. Chess knows. <laughs> chess knows. I've been talking to chess. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Beyond that, um, you know, thanks for having me. I'm Brainy Beaver. My last video is kind of blowing up as far as for my channel. I'm almost at five thousand views on it, which is. Oh now my god, the one you've got with the uh with the uh, with uh Vancouver Drive Drive? you know oh, with that Vancouver one. Mountain. Yeah, that's uh the my Fokker one where I show him what he's looking at because he's looking at a mountain. It's so <laughs> yeah. good. So uh, I'm glad you like it. But yeah, so my latest video has done like five thousand views, which for me puts it in like the top three best videos I've ever done, I guess. So for for views. Uh, and uh, just anyways, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. If you haven't seen the Fight the Flat Earth versus Hip Hop Hippie, um, there's some new uh, full retard mode content in there that's going to probably be out on 
on the next uh, on the next Tau City full retard mode. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, just uh, watch it and about where I'm a cherub. If you scroll through, I'm a cherub at that point. Uh, it's easier to find that way. And uh, you'll find out little one plus little one equals big one. And I don't want to explain too much more than that. You go watch it for yourself and have a good laugh. That'll be that'll be fun for everybody. So other than that, thanks for having me, Red, uh, everybody. And I plan to maybe do a live stream in the next day, uh, talk about this a little bit as well if it hasn't been resolved. And other than that, Chess, everybody, Sean Hufford, AT2, Red, thank you very much, and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. And let's go with Cheshire. Say what you guys saying. Get the fuck out. Yeah, I do art. Also support Sean. Also photos of me if you do, I guess. I don't know. If it works, it works. I'll take it. I'll see you guys later. All right. Sean Hufford, say what you guys saying. Get the fuck out. Oh, Mike, 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 Mike. Where to begin? Uh, <laughs> just just because people show evidence of you being a fraud doesn't give you the right to silence that with censorship. With the lamest possible reasons of privacy. If you think that these allegations of fraud are wrong, do the proper thing and sue for defamation. Let's bring your books into the course and see who's fucking lying. All right, I'm going to go because uh, the producer here is uh, 82. So thank you, 82 Productions, for producing. It's been great. It's been fun. It's been real. And uh, I'm just going to say uh, to all the members of FE Core, uh, thank you for giving us everything we need. You will now be buried underneath all of it. With that, uh, Jared, what say you? Oh, Mike. While Sean said it rather eloquently, I'm going to be much more brutal. Get fucked, cunt. <laughs>